They say a picture speaks a thousand words, but films speak a thousand pictures. An art medium where one deliberately can show emotions precisely as they're intended. A plethora of stories to tell, old and new, and the most creative of the bunch can combine both to create their own signature onto film. This is David Angel, a young Romanian living in Sweden, making films with his friends Pauli and Emilio, who also happen to be his former neighbors. Together, they gave birth to an indie film group by the name DEP Films. His dreams of one day, film beyond his own backyard, has finally come. Today is February 12, 2015, and it's been two weeks since David managed to secure distribution from the production company Mendes Abal. He's to direct his feature debut, A One Crow World. But after some disagreements within DP Films and the absence of one member, everything now rests on David's shoulders. My name is Natalie Merchant, and I've been hired by Mendez Abal to film a making of featurette of DEP's new production. A simple job, really, but admittedly one I initially disregarded. It piqued my interest, however, just after seeing the first footage my crew shot behind the scenes of A One Crow World. I could sense an underlying depth in the dynamics between the cast and crew of A One Crow World, and I immediately recognized its potential for success. The movie finally came out, as you all know, and it was sure to win awards. Suffice to say, we all know how that panned out. How could such an anticipated movie that had the entire world on edge turn out the way it did? Instead of reaching for the stars, it fell dead flat on the ground. Are you curious to find out why? I invite you to see how the most important film of its year got its name and why not in the way it was intended to. A hard lesson of importance not always equating to quality. This is the making of a one crow world. Where are we looking? Like that? This is good? Good. I'm David Engel. I'm 21. I'm, uh, I'm the director of this movie and uh, the of, of one crow world. And I'm, and I'm here to make a movie, you know, I like making movies, so this is, this is important for me. It's, that, that's who I am. Uh, yeah, my name is uh, Sasha Itteskog. I'm the lead actor in this uh, movie. My name is Rebecca. I'm uh, 25 years old. I grew up in northern Sweden, where I lived with my mom and dad and my brother. I grew up in a Christian family, so... And I've been doing uh, movies for quite a while, actually. I think this is my uh, 30th movie, I think. I never saw like a movie and thought, oh boy, I wanna, you know, I wanna do that too. It's a game in the beginning, and then at some point you you start taking it more serious than you expect you to take it. It's something you wanna do, and uh, I don't think I could see myself doing anything else than, than this. It's, it's why. Delivery's not needed. You've got lunch in what? Twenty minutes. Delivery for, for, for food. For lunch, yeah. Order, do you think? Yeah. Uh, wait, I to thought. Cook, no, I'm. I'm just cooking, dude. I'm not ordering. I'm not. I haven't got anything to do with the money. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I'm <laughs> hired for a purpose. Here. Sure. No, I get it. Um, I just. Uh, I didn't. I didn't know that. Uh, I mean, it's only like uh, uh, ten, ten, ten people. So. Yeah, ten people. I haven't got food for no one. You okay. Any, uh, what, I, 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 I bought some wraps in the in the, in the morning. So, um, wraps. I, I just thought you know like snacks or something. All right. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell. Yeah. Let me let me I'm, get them I'm ready. Sorry. I didn't I didn't I didn't know. No. Well, now you do I suppose. I, I yeah I I'm, I'm you know I've never worked, worked with a caterer before you know so I, this is. Cool man. So, sorry. Great. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Um. I'm just gonna. 
I'm not good, really. When, when I was young, I had a lot of trouble with bullies and such, and uh, a way to defend myself was to put on these different personas. You really got a distance from yourself in that way. And later I found that I could also channel this, this knowledge, this experience into my acting. I had the idea that I could take on a different persona. But then I also had the challenge that I had to put myself back into them so that they would be believable because that's not something you do when you distance yourself. And acting is all about putting yourself into a character. You have to pull them down onto earth and then mantle them and ask yourself what would I do in this situation? And that was really a, a fun, invigorating challenge. The day he's coming out of prison. Yeah, because he got tricked by, by Navid's character. Yeah. And now yeah. and now he's getting out the day as they are coming out of jail, so you're coming to see him. <laughs> yeah. We had some uh, technical difficulties, but they here saved the day with some wraps. Thank you. There's nothing I can stand for, but yeah, thank you very much. Enjoy. Thank you. Cheers, Nicole. Mm. <coughs> Which one do you want? Do you want a wrap? Um. Is it okay if I take it in Swedish? Okay. Det känns jättekul, men det är ju såklart en utmaning att det är på engelska. Men jag tycker det går ganska bra. You're you're over you're overwhelmed, uh, uh, um, Sasha. And uh, and you know you you'll dare to comfort him. You know it's it's the person you care about. You know you're you know you're you're you know, and you haven't seen him in so in a few years. So. Oh, so. I'm a bit emotional. Yes, you know, you're 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 sad that everything happened, but you're happy to see him free, you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and you you're, you're, yeah. you're the guard talking to him. Genius. Yeah, thank thanks man. David kom till en pjäs som jag satt upp en ny som Nostrum. Han ringde upp mig senare och ja, jag tackar ja för att jag gillar utmaningar och jag ville testa på något annat än bara att stå på scen. Do you want me to look like do you want me to see to look uh, angry at him like, or do you want me to just seem like I've given up uh, given up is is good like like, it, like yeah. you see him at first and you're happy to to see Rebecca but then as soon as you see him like you know you're you're overwhelmed with sadness yeah. because it's like reminding you of you know why this yeah. all happened and then and then she realizes what you're looking at cuz you realize he's changed his mood and you turn around and see him and you're like no don't look at him han brinner ju verkligen för det här jag tycker det är kul och inspirerande att han har så mycket Tankar och idéer och jag får alltid ett bra svar när jag ställer frågor till honom. Is that my only lines? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's the opening. Like you're the only person that's gonna speak today. It's okay. it's only yeah. you know. Han tar full på oss bara för att jag inget han skit. Så so I'm uh, putting up the stand because. Here's where we're gonna have the camera be, because because um, we're gonna film a scene of Sasha today. We're starting the movie off, you know. No worries about spoilers, right? Because it's coming out after the movie, so everyone already seen it. So, no worry about spoilers, everyone. I guess don't speak about this outside of set, though. <laughs> but I mean, there we there we go. That's that's nice. Let's get some let's get some let's get some filming. You know what I'm saying? Hello, my name is Kevin, Kevin Alice. So glad to be here, finally doing shooting my first movie with David. Love you, man. Mwah. Love you, David. You're the best. I Perfect swear it back fit. Then. This doesn't work. David, please. Come on, man. We tried this on last last night. How, how, how can it fit now? I mean, I don't, I don't know. It, uh, maybe, maybe someone watched it. It, it saw you strike. So it, it, it happened. It, it's okay, right? You have the blue. You have the blue. Look at that. Boom. You fixed it. You didn't even know. You're a genius, right? He's got, he's got the blue. Fixed. Look at you. Thanks, man. It's all good. It's good. It's good. Okay. Uh, Navid's here. Uh, okay. Someone should go get him. I had a chance to shift with Rebecca, and uh, oh, Sasha is just cool. One of my greatest idols. I I just love him so much. I'm an actor. I'm an actor. I'm an actor. I'm a professional. Hey everyone. Hi everyone. It's 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 another star. Hi, hi. Hey. Kevin. Now it's Hi. Oh. 
Hi, my name is uh, Navid Jafarpour and I am uh, here to answer your questions. Yeah, I met David over a cup of coffee actually a few months ago and he, he, he pitched me this project and I thought it was a, it was a really interesting idea actually. It was sort of a, a deep dive into, into parts of the human psyche that I'm quite interested in exploring. Make, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you're all my stars, right? This is, this is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, uh, we're going. <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right now. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll take a seat, and we'll we'll start right away. Awesome. I'll just I'll just talk to him for a second. I'll just. Uh, oh, hey, that's very nice. Okay. So uh, that's. Uh... Well, I, I've done uh, quite a substantial amount of films. Mostly abroad, though, a lot in Italy, France, some in America, actually. And uh, I found that the the size of the smile you got from the crew in the morning was directly proportionate to the amount of money you made on that film. So if you made, say, $10,000, you got two teeth. If you got $100,000, you got eight teeth. If you made a million dollars, well, then you got the whole Flatbush Cemetery going on like that. So that was an interesting contrast to filmmaking in, say, Italy, where, you know, everybody just smells like uh, Italians. But you'll come from here? Oh, yeah. Yeah? And then uh, you'll come from here. You, you'll see Sasha, and you start walking towards him. And, and, I'm, then, and I'm quiet all the time. Yeah, you're, you're quiet until you get to him, and you're walking to him. Yeah. And then here you'll slow down. And we're just and taking then, Yeah, you'll see each other, and then when he gets up, you can, like, drop the, the thing, and then you go and you hug him, and you guys just hold on to that moment. Yeah, okay. you guys want to do a trial shot, I guess, like do a trial? Yeah. walking into frame. I can try. Yeah. Here. Okay. Yeah. So and action. That. That's good. That's good. That's great. Five, yeah. the, wow. You know. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah. Let's. Um, I think my legs are really cool. Do you have lipstick on your t-shirt? Let's. <laughs> let's. You know. Make a move. So the the idea for this movie just came as we were trying to think of what the next project should be. We've you know we've done this. We've done this. Um, and we just thought, how about we do kind of like a a bit of a drama type thing, sort of like a mobster. And I guess it's a bit more maybe. I would describe it as. I describe it as a lot of things. It's like a passion project. It's not like the one big movie you've always wanted to make, you've talked about forever, and then, and then I guess now the opportunity came to make it. You know, I, <laughs> I never would have imagined I'd be in charge of like a of a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of my own movie to, to to this extreme where a studio actually wants to make make this. And, and you know, it's it's amazing. It's 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 a dream come true. I, I wish I wish Pauli and Emilio were here with me, but you know. One of them is away, and then the other one, you know, he just like, hey, you know, he changed his mind about the project, I guess, so it's just me now. But, you know, I, I think I'll, you know, do this in their honor, you know, for us, because our vision. Um, so. Uh, director, what do you think about this? And the director goes, yeah, that's great. Let's do that. Uh, with David, you don't really have that. Yeah, but of course. And then maybe do like a nod and a wink or something like a, And then you wink at them. And then that's enough. You know, we get it. He's a douchebag. <laughs> He's a good actor, director. So exactly what should I do? Like if you could patrol in the background, that'd be cool. Like, uh, you know, back and forth, you're just like, you know, inspecting the prisoners and like, you know, you're doing your job. Seems like, thank you, thank you. I like that guy, he's nice.
with me, okay? It's nothing to do with it. It doesn't uh, matter anymore, okay? Just leave uh, me. Perfect, perfect. That was fantastic. We good? Mm -hmm. it, was, it was amazing. Can you hold, can you hold, can you hold that before you? you want more? Uh, uh, no, I think you guys, you know, you, you, you nailed it. Yeah. Good job. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done a lot of odd jobs before I became an actor. I was, I was told I, I would never really amount to much. So uh, that was kind of the life path I was headed for. But then uh, I just stumbled into a, an acting class, an improv class. Uh, when I was about 18 or so and the teacher told me that uh, she thought I was brilliant and uh, I said you know hey someone thinks I'm good I might as well give it a shot you, you Kevin keep on walking that was the best walking I've seen you know and yeah just come up there boom position stance the, the, you know you know how to be cool the, the wink and uh, we'll make a movie you couldn't ask for a better cast they're fantastically talented and they're really good. They're not very experienced and they need some help along the way. As a cast and a crew, you, you are basically a big family. You, you try to support and help each other grow. And you know, sometimes you, you end up in conflicts over small things, but you work through them and you support each other and you feel that you're all equals here. What would you do if you were in this situation? Because, like, you know, I, I just felt that you, you did really good, you know. Mm. But we could, maybe we could explore that deeper, you know. So, like, so like what? what? Uh, I don't really think that's a good idea. I mean, no, no offense, mm. but, you know, to, to put too much of yourself into the character is, is then you're just playing yourself. Yeah. No, I, I get you totally. And I think the golden line is to, you know, find the place where, where you meet the character, like where you meet halfway. And that's what I'm thinking, like, we can explore maybe together. Like, yeah, you know, I, I can help you. I can give you tips, you know. Um, we can find well, this well, way. Well, 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 I'll, I'll thank you. I'll think about that. But, you know, it's... Uh, I'll think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. But, but I, I mean, I'm, r I'm right here, you know. You can always come to me if you need help. Yeah. I'm here to help you. We're in this together, man. Thanks. Yeah. I had a lot of pressure. You know, my mom, <laughs> she's sick right now and almost dying and... She always said, you're never gonna be an actor, you, you, you're never gonna get a script, you know? <laughs> Look at me now, mom! I'm doing this for me, I'm doing this for us! In the homeland, in the country. You guys ready? Yes? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so. I practiced all night, bro. You, fantastic, I'm so, I'm so, it's really, it's really nice, okay. How does it feel? You're going free to me. After five years in prison, saying you did a sort of robbery. Criminal, you know that? You might leave this prison today, but the prison will never leave you. She's gonna be so proud of me. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah sure. Okay. Oh. Thanks, man. Yeah? yeah. Don't worry, man. It's gonna be so excited to finally watch the full project when it's done. This might be something great we're sitting on here. I think uh, you out there are gonna love this uh, production. Once we're done, I mean, you know, they're all, they're all, you know, they're all great. You know, Rebecca's done theater for forever, and Sasha's made, you know, he's nominated for for awards, you know, and then you know, Navi's been doing, you know, cranking them out like you know, no one ever has. You know, it's, it's great. I mean, David, let's not forget about David. <laughs> I'm, uh, I mean, I'm just some some YouTube schmuck that got lucky, so it's. <laughs> It's nothing much. Oh, but no, don't be modest. Uh, have you seen his stuff? Oh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. It's, it's, real, it's really, really amazing. Yeah, it's an honor to be in this film. Honor, okay. Maybe well, I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't be sitting here, David, if you, if you weren't extraordinary. It's yeah. really nice to hear. I really, I really like that that one about, what was it, the, the, the talking uh, shoe, was it? Well, doing the shot? Yeah. Can yeah. I improvise a bit? Um, 
I mean, sure, I guess. Yeah. You did that bit with the shoe and yes. the and the, the otter. I was just great, I was just randomly yeah. improvised by a friend, and it was funny enough that we just kept it. Like I. You did line. Okay. No, I thought it was great. I mean, it was it was not only funny in my opinion. It was like it was funny, but also sort of deep. Honey, where the fuck is my goddamn chorizo? You didn't even buy the fucking cucumber. How am I supposed to make that sinking with this goddamn fridge? Uh, and you I'll see you on the other side of the phone. Yeah, okay. I don't know. It, well, was that intended? I don't think it was, but if you know, if you found meaning in it, um, thank you. I'll just cut around that. <laughs> Maybe improv was not to go. Yeah, well. <laughs> I think. Uh, we got, we got, we got, we got, you know, the solid foundation, and uh, it can only, it can, it can only go good from here, right? I mean, you know, oh, yeah. with you guys, I mean, what could go wrong? So, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's about trust, I guess. At the end of the day, yeah. if you trust yeah. each other and the, 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 the creative powers we all possess, then who knows what could happen? Yeah. You know? Hey, Rebecca, is is uh, is is hiding from paparazzi a thing you you experience as well? No, <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> not. Maybe yeah. after this film. Yeah, oh, you, you, you won't want you don't want it. That's for really? sure. No, no. Is it that bad? Yeah. Well, I mean, so yeah. We'll go out there, hang out a bit, and then uh, you know we'll uh, we'll uh, you know, and then we'll start in a second. Um, finish setting everything up upstairs and uh, get to it. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, uh, first day, right? Yeah. Jump right in. So exciting. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's set up. Cool, okay. Um, are we gonna... Am I? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'll say what you're all thinking. A sweet, humble, endearing start to a production. Experienced filmmakers taking the inexperience under their wings. Simply put, nothing special. But there definitely is, and I promise you, an important step to understanding the story at large. Even Michael Jackson had a life before the music and the dancing, although perhaps not a good one, and yet crucial in order to understand his later years. And so, we must remind you of this understanding, because the beginning of a journey versus the end of it can be two entirely different worlds. And David has just dipped his toe in the water. And from the looks of it, it's looking rather murky. Now, we thought the right people to talk about David and what he's doing is to talk to his peers. So we decided to interview fellow filmmakers around the world who David has interacted with, shared his films with, and see how they feel about the dynamic trio DEP films and how David will fare on his own. My name is Tony Cole. I'm a wrestler, I'm a filmmaker, and a proper ass kicker. Like we go back to 2004, it's the first time I saw 007 Goldeneye. And I watched that film three times the same day, and then my father says, You know, there's other films as well. So then I'm just looking through all of all of the films on the shelf like this. Uh, I remember Mission Impossible 2, the motorcycle chase there. It's just one of my favorite scenes of all time. I watched that on repeat as a kid like million and million times, and then I replicated it on a pipe bike with my friends. And <laughs> yeah, it's uh, there we go back. I'm Martin Groff, one of the founders of Amp Corp, which is a group of different production divisions, including DDAB Productions and GK Productions, which started in the year 2000. So I've been involved in independent filmmaking for about 20 years, since I was about 8 years old. Um, we're best known probably for our uh, Philip Krieg movies, a set of action films, as well as the Charlotte Fair show sitcom, but we've made projects in a wide variety of genres over the years. For me, I, you know, I, I'm also a fighter, so it's always been the perfect way for me to like combine everything I like doing. Like I, I like to, uh, I like to act. I 
like to fight. I get to combine those two since I mostly make action films and let's just, you know, just express myself in that kind of way. So it's, uh, it's an incredible feeling, especially, I say this a lot, but whether it's a film or it's a fight or anything, I feel the most calm when I'm beating somebody or getting beaten. I always get shit for that, like, that's unbelievable, like, that can't be true, but it is. I can't remember exactly when I first saw DEP Films projects, uh, but I've been impressed with them for many years, and I know that it was one of the Clank films that I saw first, and as we were working on our own action films, I always enjoyed seeking out other people who did similar types of projects, and so that's, I'm sure, one of the reasons that I found DEP Films, but I've always enjoyed their projects and have always been impressed by the production value and just the large scale of many of their videos. Well, he's a fantastic actor, I know that for sure. Some of the best performances I've ever seen on YouTube are from him, but directing, like, that'd be interesting to see, like, well, it could be great, it'd also be like a like a fucking film with potatoes. Like, who knows? After the first few weeks of getting footage and seeing that there was more here than meets the eye, I decided I had to see them. How can I put this? Exist for myself. I'll say though, this did not get the reaction I wanted, to be completely honest. I'm not sure which reaction I was expecting. They were more cagey with me around. They didn't mind my crew. Probably got used to them being around. I mean, what's one more camera in a production? But with me around, they acted as if this was 1984 and I was watching their every move. To be fair, I kind of was. That, that one movie he was in, the Life and Ash, I was going to be What was it called? Like, uh, Two Pennies for a Dime or something? Yeah, yes, Two Pennies for a Dime. In that movie. I understand why women get paid less in movies because in the porn industry they get paid more. Uh, I guess there is a market. Not like I've seen it, but you know I've heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Up. Shut the fuck up. So, what do you mean? What do you mean? It's two o'clock. We can't be ready at then. What? Fuck, where are my glasses? What the fuck? Where are my fucking glasses? What the fuck do you mean we're gonna be? Okay, what is this about tomorrow? I thought... Oh, we only understand Fahrenheit. Oh. What? Okay, so we're filming earlier now. Or like, later. I guess. It, it was supposed to be like two hours later, but now it says that we had some problems with booking. And... Oh, okay. Uh, hey, uh, uh Sasha? Yeah, hey, it, it's David. Um, can I put you on speaker real quick? We have a few problems with the movie shoot. Yeah, and it was supposed to be at 12, and now apparently it's gonna be at 2, so we, 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 have, to, we have to move it over. Okay. Yeah, is that okay? Uh... Uh... I, I mean, like... What, what, what's gonna help me with that? I, I get it. That, that shit happens. I just need to know how, how will we solve my... Situation. Okay, well, what, 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 what was your plan? Well, the plan was to arrive in a limo and then to walk up, like, right as it is now. I'm gonna have to sit there for two hours. Okay, no, but it's fine. Um, we can go to lunch. I, uh, I, I mean... Well, I'm a camera, so I'm always looking at stuff, so you can do it. Okay, you can look. Yeah, it's already fucking pizza. Like, yeah, I'm taking care of the food over here. Like, okay, what do you need, bro. I was just ho hoping someone could fucking help me. Hey, hey, hey. Sometimes I'm the photographer. Sometimes it feels like I'm the same person. 
on the Zoom production. I'm not sure. Can someone please help me find my glasses? I'm not going to be able to work tomorrow if I don't have my glasses. I can't work tomorrow either. W why not? Oh. No, I can't. <laughs> What the fuck was that? You just fucking shot. What the fuck was that? Is that helping? It doesn't sound like it's helping. Go fuck yourself. And your cunt mother. I'm trying. I just had some scenes we had to film, so we just needed a bit more. That's it. We, we are running off the money. We are running... Can't you understand I it? I understand. Which, I, which is why it will all be okay, I promise. Yeah, you'll be promising all the time. Uh, I it's, don't it's really trust. I don't. I don't really trust I, you. But you trusted me to make this movie, so now I'm making it. In the beginning, but uh, now I see the results. I but the results. I haven't happened. seen I, any results. The movie has been. It's been three months. We filmed very, very much. But it's delayed all the time, <coughs> and you are coming, coming with lots of explanations. I mean, a movie takes time. Bullshit. It's. I don't trust you. saying after the intro class I went back to the course and she sat next to me and I just thought that hey hey Navid hey hey you on your way dude uh, yeah 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 I'm on my way I'm on my way cool just, cool uh, um, yeah no everyone else is here so you know it's okay um, and we're yeah, I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry but you know it, uh, yeah, we're here. So when you get here, you know, downstairs, uh, get, call me or or the the the, the reception girl, I, I, the, whatever her name is, and she'll let you in. So, cause yeah. Debbie, Debbie, her name is Debbie. No, that's one of the characters. All right. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be there in. Uh, I'll be there in like. She's always a bit late. <clears throat> um, I guess I'm gonna meet some of the actors today. Uh, Dennis is new. Yeah, I haven't really seen his show. I mean, I've seen some bits. He's. <clears throat> he's like a comedy actor dude or something. I don't know what the fuck he's doing in my movie. <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounded, that sounded a bit weird. I just mean, I have my script, and I had this character ready. He just obviously wasn't going to be in the movie until now, obviously, which is why we've been careful with what we filmed, because we hadn't casted him yet. We were trying to find a good person. But the studio says he's liked and stuff like that, so, you know, he's here now. So, I, you know, I'm sure, he'll, I'm sure he'll do a good job. I'm just, I didn't mean it to be like a goddamn comedy Hour. Hey, how's everyone doing now? Uh, <laughs> hey, man. David, you know, nice yeah. to meet you. I saw yeah. bits of your show. Funny, funny guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, Dennis. Yeah. Glad you're here. Thank you. Glad to be here. <laughs> um, how do you feel about the production so far? I mean, I guess you could say I'm the new kid on the block. I mean, I think I made a bit of a splash over the course of social media, but uh, for the most part, I mean, I'd say this is my big break, so... So you're excited, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm excited to be here. We're good. Yeah. <coughs> I'm sure you'll fit right in. You guys uh, rehearsed the script? <clears throat> oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah? Uh, Everyone yeah. has their lines? I, I don't know. I, I read be. through it a bit. Yeah? Um, mm -hmm. But I thought maybe we need to um, just look it over. Yeah, a little bit, uh, of course. Yeah. How do you handle and tackle uh, the dialogues? Uh, do you rehearse in the meantime during your free time? Do you even have oh, yeah. time for that? I record myself saying the lines I'm going to respond to and then I respond as I play it back. Oh, so no, no stage scene partner? When it's time to bring in another person, it's time to film. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, well, I, I have a background in stand-up, so it means you got to memorize things in front of an audience. R really great motivation mm -hmm. to remember exactly what you need to say, you know, you got to have the right flexions, the right delivery. Gets real easy. It's real easy to then remember, remember the lines in, in a film. <coughs> yeah, well, but, you know, Rebecca does, does, does that every day, you know, on stage. <coughs> like a lot of people. 
right? So um, yeah. I mean, are you questioning? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I just meant like you guys would okay. get it, you know, because it's yeah, similar. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's different. Get into. Yeah, how did you get involved in the project? Uh, David contacted me, asked if we could promote him somehow, and we were looking his project and said, okay, it looks okay. So let's get started. So you trust uh, you trusted David with your money, full full heartedly. Uh, yes, in the first place, in the beginning, yes, and still. Well, you're not supposed to look uh, into the camera and see nothing mm -hmm. when you're filming. No, this is a real movie. So I'd say yeah. I feel very restricted. I feel like yeah. I can't yeah. look yeah. at it because if mm -hmm. I look at it, no. just just one. I'm done. Of course, yeah, yeah. Of course, and that's going to expose me yeah. for, for all that I am. You know, <laughs> not 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 saying that I am one, but. Are we talking about a big profit here? I'm sorry, I, you don't need to give a number, but... It, it's, um, it goes around. Okay. But Rebecca, you, you were next. Did you want... you didn't... Yeah, okay, um, should we... Because I'm not staying here all day, I just want to ask you some questions and then you're good to go. Was it a wrong day? No! <laughs> no, 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 it was just, uh, it was just, right, you, uh, since Navi's not here, right, it was just more of a, let's make sure we get them right. Make sure he got it right, and then we can just bah, get right into it. And you know, um, and of course, then we'll all take turns. You know, we sit with you, and we have the chat. Um, okay. Do you uh, want me to stay here for a longer time? I mean, I mean, that's up to you guys, right? Känner du dig stor i i produktionen? Nej. Um. Jag känner mig väl inte stor så. Så är det väl när det är ens första film. Ja, yeah. hey guys, you'll come in. This the intervention scene or? No, 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 no. This is that. This is when uh, you guys are friends and meeting up at the cafe. I guess there's clearly some level of small tension in between you two, as as people that are both trying to make between the, us two. Uh, between you three, uh, or between you two because of her. Oh yeah, like yeah. like so uh, like a, like a love triangle type of thing. Yeah, the a little bit. Uh, what's that called? The, well, that's a thing. That's a different thing. But but um, no. um, well, I don't think we have a scene like that. But uh, so yeah, so you know, you're both kind of trying to like. Hmm. So, so they are together. No, right no, 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 no. no. They're so not together. Right he now. likes her. Yeah. She doesn't. Re she's not sure if she likes him. Yeah. And then you're gonna like her, and then she's gonna like you, and he's not gonna like you both because of that. This okay. is a tragedy. Dude. Yeah, yeah. This isn't a comedy. But I, like we <laughs> like each other, but we don't. None of us like each other. You're as friends, as friends, yeah, as yeah, friends, but, like, but not like romantically. No. No, 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 no. When you're making films, as in any creative endeavor, I would say there are always gonna be times where where the the creative differences appear and manifest in the sense of you know debates discussions and you can't have a good uh, end result if you don't butt heads sometimes you know if my idea sucks you know pardon the the french uh, and you're and you have a better idea you should be able to come to me and say that um, you know what i think your your character should be a a green bagel because that's you know uh, better, better for the script, you know. And then like the Nokia computer, she's like, they make computers, and then and then now you're like, shut up, Nokia. You're like making fun of her because she didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, but but what's the symbol? Uh, behind the Nokia. Why Nokia? Why not? Uh, you know, Dell or uh, or Asus yeah. or Windows. I guess because you wouldn't expect Nokia to to make computers. Oh, you could put in some uh, product placement and call Nokia and ask them to uh. pay you. Uh you haven't done think, that? Yeah, I think we have to if we're gonna mention Nokia. Right. Uh, yeah, no, I, I can I can call them, right? Lickety split. Uh, I'll have the producer do it. I can text them. Who would who would sue for free publicity? You know, like. Oh, I'm, right. I'm actually in a, in a lawsuit right now. That's part oh. of the reason I was late, by the way. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, no, it's no, it's fine. It's be fine. a problem with the movie, though, right? What? You're, you're good for the movie. Like it doesn't have to. Well, it depends if I if I get convicted or not. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can shoot around that. Um, I'm sorry to be nosy. What uh, What was it? <clears throat> May I ask? Mm, sure. Uh, I mean, it was it was nothing. It was it actually happened uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was I was uh, I was out minding my own business, and uh, somebody came up to me, started asking me stupid questions about my private life, and I you know thought it was a fan at first, but then I realized it was a 
was a paparazzi. So I punched him. And uh, yeah, now he's suing me for a lot of money. We're at the stage uh, in the production where where tempers flare and such, and uh, that's really just a part of the, uh, the situation. Like with any job, you have good days, you have bad days. Today wasn't by any means a bad day. Okay, but mm. when I say mm. you could miss the chance of your life because you never know which one could be the one, mm -hmm. I, who am I talking to? Uh, uh, but, 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 who is it that you're talking to? Uh, <laughs> um, um, kind of maybe just kind of like say it like uh, in front of you, just like you know, you're just kind of like saying it out there more like, okay. yeah, okay. it's like a yeah, relatable. Boy, Dean Plots. Yeah, I'm <gasps> She's my secretary? Or, uh, I'm, I'm... No. No, just me, secretary. Who do you want to be, Rebecca? I want to be, I don't know, maybe an artist. They have a lot more experience than I have. So they know better how it's going to go. Till. I mean, something big. Sure, okay, how about you're like a design artist for the company then or something? Yeah. That's nice. Hmm. So there we go. And Sasha, we, you know, what, what do you feel would be right then? Do you have something that you feel would be doesn't right? Really doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter to you. What okay. I am, I just need to know mm -hmm. what I am. Oh, what if you help <laughs> making like the the websites, right? So you work with Rebecca, and that's how you know her. Because so, like, so she's I'm this... a web tech. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is something that you tell me in advance so that I can prepare. Yeah, yeah. So but I can do my research. Of course. But as at least for right now, you know that right. you know no yeah. mention of no, it. No, you no, know. sure, sure, but, that's fine. But you guys know David, within David, yourselves. David, it's okay. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll sort it out. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's not gonna be an issue. Yeah. And then as uh, your his brother. So uh, yeah, okay. Um, I started out. Just wanting to entertain people. I wanted to make them laugh. And when I realized that my routines didn't really seem to have that effect, well, it was a wake-up call for me. I, I started realizing that I needed to change things up. Well, that's not going down. <clears throat> Fuck. I'm just a moment, guys. <clears throat> Jesus. Oh, you're changing now? Yeah. Okay. You, you said... Yeah, 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 of course. This is what the game means, the costume means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mikael, come here. Mikael? Who's Mikael? I don't know. I'm some guy on the set, maybe? Oh. I don't really... Michael. I'm kidding. David. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that last time again? You seem to be very, you know, good at going with the flow and adapting and solving it like as if nothing happened. <laughs> I just do my best, nothing more, you know. Action. Yeah, no, so uh, so then I was, you know, we, we just hung out and it yeah. was... Uh, uh, hey. Hey, man. Hello, guys. Why the long face? Uh, I, I'm... I don't really know. I just um, no. I'm not. I'm not gonna tell you guys. You give the worst advice. What? No, we don't. Especially not me. I give the best advices. Oh, hush, hush, Debbie. Hush, hush. The grown-ups are talking. Why? Why are you doing the accent? Oh. What do you mean? Why are you doing the accent? What accent? You're doing an accent, Debbie. Like, are, are you gonna? Con I'm not doing an accent. You're doing. I give the best advices. Oh, Debbie, hush, hush. Grown-ups are talking. I, I, I don't know. Um, ah, I'm the only guy in class. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, sorry. Go on, Charles. As I was gonna tell you before uh, being so rudely interrupted, um, I met a girl at this class, and uh, you know, uh, so after class, I I walked back to uh, to the course room, and. Um, you know, and I saw her and she saw me, I was doing great. And then uh, we sat down, we talked, everything was going fine. We got, we started hitting it off until... Uh, until, let me guess, you fucked it up, didn't you? 
You talked about the pre-war money collection you have at home, and you talked about them. Now wait, now wait, that, that's a different accent. You're doing a different accent from before. I'm not. Yes, you you are. You're doing like Jamaican or something. I mean, Jama- I'm not doing Jamaican. <laughs> yes, you are. You you need like I'm I'm I'm, I'm not, not trying. Jamaican. I, I'm I'm okay with it. Just are you going to be able to keep that? Because you know we we're going to have to keep doing this. Dude, I've been doing the same, you know, it's not Jamaican, first of all, I'm sorry, you know. Why aren't you talking like you are now? Why can't you just talk like What do you like mean? That? I talk like this when we... When we no. Can we first you did like... Am I taking crazy pills here? I'm, I'm Actually, not doing... Actually, how, how does he do it? Because I am also sensing some difference. You might not be fully crazy, or maybe we're crazy together. First, you, you did like some stereotypical Indian accent, like you, you thought... I would like never, that's culturally inappropriate. I would never sure, do that. Sure, but, but can we just can go we on? Just reproduce it, please. I've been working for this accent for six months. But like, why are you working for an accent? Just, just talk like you normally do. Why the fuck? He's my character. You're the method actor, dude. He's not from, from you know, uh, uh, L.A. He's from uh, Dave. Where's my character from? Dave. Like the David. He's he's David. He's from. Uh, well, what, are, are you gonna let this fly? He's telling me to drop my whole accent. <coughs> I'm not telling you to drop the whole accent. I'm asking you, can you keep doing the accent? Of course I can. I'm a professional. I've done 33. From my perspective, I there is no room for ego in uh, the creative process because if I'm if I as an actor go into a project and try to force my own ego into the whole thing mm-hmm. or interject my own uh, personality or whatever into it. It's, it's not going to be a character anymore. It's going to be a caricature of myself, and that's not interesting at all. What he did is he fell into a bit of a trap. What you do is you try to add something to your character that isn't you. You should never bring the character down to your own level as a person. Mm-hmm. If you play King, right. King Lear, you gotta, mm-hmm. you got to go up to his level. You don't pull him down to your level. So he wasn't trying to provoke you, in other words? Not at all. Not at all. I, uh, I do not see that me and Navid have uh, a relationship like that at all. I mean, you could miss the chance of your life. Because you, you never know which one could be the one. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i going to go get a drink. It was out of character for him to say. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. He's, he's not one I would think had emotions. I, I know it's hard to look at him as a human. But I guess... Yeah. Hey, anybody want some sushi? <laughs> huh? Dennis. Um, jag tycker inte han fick så mycket repliker. Vad tyckte du om hans replik? Hi guys, want some sushi? <laughs> <laughs> jo, den uh, vet inte var den uh, kommer ifrån riktigt. <clears throat> I'm hoping that this role and this production will be able to show to people that I can be funny, I, I can be entertaining. So that's what I'm hoping to get. Um, this is going to be his comeback. It feels like he's on the right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not used to working for a budget or anything like that, so you know, I'm not very money throwy towards things you know i think i i stay in the right spot because i've never had one so why would i out of nowhere now go crazy with it you know so do you feel that david uh, is still holding up his uh, part of the agreement mm. yes more or less it's looking bright for this production yeah the actors are working nicely with one another mm-hmm. there's no um personal issues to have to deal with in between the actors or the cast or the crew. Uh, yeah, it, it sounds like um, you're up for a very promising end, end result. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you. I uh, am looking forward oh, to Yeah, we'll see each other in a bit more. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you feel ready to, to hit us with a joke? Oh man. <laughs> no. No, I have no 
interest in him being in the movie because I that's not what I want. I have enough student intervention, and just because he wants to be in it doesn't mean I, I want to be. He can drink his goddamn stupid fucking mocha, mocha, mocha chacos, wherever else. George can go suck my fucking, you know, you know what? So good, goodbye, uh, okay? So yeah, okay, I'm gonna go. He can tell him no for the last time. He can go, you know, what else? Somewhere else. Yeah, what'd you want? Hey man, uh, I don't know. Wanna have a seat? Yeah, why not? How's up? Well, you know, I, I, I noticed you got some new glasses. Yeah, I, uh, oh, haha, <laughs> I lost my pair. We were doing a thing and no one seems to find them, so I. It's an old pair, <laughs> but. You know, you know that, that's the thing I want to talk to you about. One piece of the puzzle doesn't make the whole picture come together, right? So, uh, uh, what I'm saying is, you know, maybe think a little bit about. Changing your pants, you know, the kind of shoes you wear, maybe put a nice watch on, shave, shower more than once a month, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just, um, I'm telling you this because in this industry, you know, uh, people don't see your shining personality first and foremost. They, they, they see your appearance and how you present yourself. And I just think that your talent, which is evident, uh, you know, uh, to anybody who has half a brain, uh, should uh, not be uh, squandered by your, uh, you know, unfortunate uh, appearance. It's good to, you know, <clears throat> share. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't take it the wrong no, way. No, 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 no. I understand. You know, it's, it's all about. Because you have a very unique style. I'll mm -hmm. give you that. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I also used to have such a unique style, uh, but not in the same to the same extent that mm -hmm. you do. You know, you take it a little too far. I think, okay. You know? uh, yeah. Okay. Ha. I'll see you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Have a good day. Thank you. Uh, thank you for today. Yeah. Get out of my set. I'm gonna have to fucking sit there and fucking take it as he fucking calls me garbage, basically through my face. I just wanna, I just wanna make the movie because it matters. I wanna make you guys proud. But I don't know if I can do that because I feel like I'm getting in over my head. I know. What are we gonna do if it doesn't work out? I just, I just don't know. I, I know, and I, I love you too. I just, I just. Yeah. Okay. I know. I know. I know. Are you okay? Are you, are you doing okay? Yeah. I'll come over for Christmas and stuff. Still be like a nice break. After all of this. Yeah. What's that doing? It's good. <laughs> yeah, I will tell my love them too. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it home.
episode. Well, uh, I'll call you. I'll call you later. Okay. Yeah, it's nice talking to you for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I love you too. Yeah, I always do feel bad at this part. It's like watching a kid that bit off more than he could chew and is now choking. You know he did this to himself and he needs to learn. But also, he didn't know to begin with. All I can hope for is that this doesn't put him in the wrong direction. After a week of radio silence, David decided to get back to the group. It was clear that he'd been up to something. I had my suspicions, and I was shocked to see what he had actually done. I won't pretend. I was impressed. Hey, go ahead and film. Welcome. Hey. Come in, come in. Thanks. Hey, man. Yep. How you doing? You good? Good to see you. What's up, my knickknacks? Oh, wait, that was racist. I'm sorry. Huh? Hello. How are you, man? I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Sorry, man. Hey, Dan. Hey, uh, bro brother, right? Hey. Yeah. Hi. Oh, almost knocked you out. Oh. Do, do you like. Hmm? You're kind of in the way. I am? I mean, could you... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll just, you know, get my shoes off. Hang on, a little bit. Oh, God damn. Oh, hey. Hey. Hello, hello. Hey. Hey. We haven't heard much from you this week. Is everything okay? Is everything, you know, <laughs> still on? I've been having some talks of, uh, what's, the, what's the production company that we, that was sponsoring this movie? Anyone? I didn't fucking think so. So point is, it doesn't matter. Uh, I fired them. So, uh, as of today, we're out of budget. <laughs> and we have no money. Uh, but here's the kicker. Uh, I've been talking to all the other producing companies in uh, Stockholm. And in fact, in Sweden, I can get my hands on or call or get into a meeting. And uh, I've got them all to produce this movie. Uh, I have basically gotten every other singular production company in Sweden to sponsor uh, One Crow World and therefore basically Sweden is sponsoring this film uh, so I didn't need Timo anymore he kind of decked me in the face a bit but uh, then again yeah, yeah. Good, sure. good job yeah, good absolutely. job Dave yeah. so uh, about the uh, out of uh, budget part how long is that gonna last you think? today today? Mm -hmm. alright so why are we are we getting paid for, for this day or? sure Okay. You are. Yeah, all right. But why are, are we here in your house? Uh, because uh, we can do some of the pickup scenes with the apartment scene here. And, uh, you know, I thought I'd tell you personally what's been going on. Uh, David? Oh, hey. Yeah. Uh, was there a dress code for today? I mean, everyone else is pretty f fancy. Mm. I don't know. That's all right. You fit right in. I just need a moment. Mm -hmm. I need to find this house. I need to find the bathroom. It's over there. Thanks. I've never been through anything like this before. Me neither. I think this is a bit ridiculous. What did he mean with you, you and her, you and him, you and him? You know, lies. I think, yeah, I think just like... Scenes? Yeah, maybe scenes. Yeah. But uh, he seemed a little bit uh, on edge. Out of it, yeah, yeah. on edge, doesn't he? Do you guys uh, remember 
page 56 to 59. No, I, I haven't. I don't remember which no. ones that, that was. I think that was uh, the janitorial scene. Okay. Yeah, the one, you know, where he was he was cleaning up the, the dog. Uh, he, he put your coffee there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the dog puke. I think that was it. Oh. Is that in, in my character's house? No, 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 that was his workplace. His workplace. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can betray him, man. You listen to me, man. You're my brother, okay? But I need you to step up. I need you to do this thing. If you don't do it, we'll fuck. Put their shit on the fucking. Who the fuck is shit is this fucking garbage? Get the that was mine. Well, it's okay. Uh, let's. Uh, woo! God damn. Action. Okay, this is good. It's a good place. For a kiss, yeah. Sorry. Oh shit! Is my line? Again. Well, 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 Charles. Five years in prison is a long time. What do you think Debbie and I got up to when you were rotting? Oh! It was a compliment, you asshole. <laughs> You're my best friend, man. You're like a brother I never had. You're the only one I can trust. I know where I have you. Ah. Uh. There's something I gotta tell you. And it's not gonna be easy. I'm here for you, man. You can trust me. The night that your father died? Yeah. I didn't do anything. <laughs> it's you and me, man. It's you and me. You and me. No matter what happens, you and me. did this to you? I can't say. Yeah, I mean, I look myself in the mirror, right? <laughs> I kind of scared myself, you know? Yeah. yeah. Didn't expect to wake up and <laughs> do this today, but... Yeah. Actually, hey, camera dude, mind closing door. Hmm. I wanted to just, uh, real quickly, talk about something. You're free on Tuesday, yeah? Yeah. Good, we have a photo shoot for you to be there, yeah? Wear something casual, they'll probably give you something in costume, but, yeah. um, yeah? Ha, uh, so... <laughs> uh, <laughs> awkward, maybe I've been around some of this before. Um, no, this, so, this from the, so, from the grapevine, yeah, let's call it, uh, I heard, uh... I heard you and your wife were having some... <clears throat> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wanted to, you know... Yeah, yeah. Understand? Thanks. You think that's gonna be a problem for the for this for the shooting and the no. scheduling? No. no, no. Yeah. There. No issue. Yeah. Not at all. Oh, I don't, okay. I don't bring my. Um, I don't bring that. That's good. That's good. Because I wouldn't want to ruin my mood. <laughs> I mean, this is weird, man. Huh? What's yeah. happening? I don't know. Photo shoot for what? You didn't say. You didn't say. You know, I don't know if I should pack my lingerie or my my damn law book. Mm -hmm. Might sue his ass. What should I wear? 
you know. Jesus shirt, maybe. Yeah, you, you're gonna need Feels Jesus, good. I think. Six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think? Pa Troopers, real superstars, you guys. Superstars, superstars. Good job, bro. Oh, very nice, very nice. Good job, man. 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 Very nice, very nice. Uh, good job, oh, hey there, big guy. Okay. Uh, what, do we, what do we do about the makeup? I, I already removed it once, you got how I did it. So just do that again, and then you'll be good. It's okay. And uh, remember, get ready for uh, get ready for tomorrow. Yeah, the the news is hitting that this movie is becoming the thing. You know, yeah. not a thing, the thing. Right. That's great, man. Yeah. Hey, Navid. Yeah. Uh, you. Uh, let's see. Everyone have everything yet? Yeah? Uh, Rebecca, yeah, I think you forgot something here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I thought for a second it'd be gray. Made me think. I was like, oh wait, but. Um, Bye, Bye. Oh, there we go. Uh -oh. Very sweet. Yeah. Uh, oh, nice. I didn't see that happy for a dance. You already look like a character. I like Bye. that. Bye. 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 Cool. All right. Bye. Time to go. Are right, you gonna put your shoes on? Dennis. Dennis, shoes. The shoes, man. All right. Sorry. Um, I'll, I'll put these on outside. Cool. Uh, thanks. For 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 you know talking to me. Oh, oh. We were at the shoot uh, in the cafe. Yeah. A week ago, and uh, we were we were done with the day, and you, and you want to talk to me a bit? All right. It's like a week right. ago. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, I think the movie is just gonna be better because of that, and you know we pushed everything together. Well, I'm glad I could help. I'm glad. I could help. Yeah, of course. So you know, thanks a lot. You know, come here. For sure. Yeah. You go. Thanks a lot, man. Really appreciated that. You know. Thank you. But uh, hey, you know where the doors and everything like that, and uh, you know if uh, ever speaking like that, I'll fucking end your career. All right. That, yeah. um... See you tomorrow. Oh, I mean Wednesday, man. Okay. Wow. I mean, wow. Although he was exaggerating, David did get his hands on 12 production companies to back this film. Say what you want about this kid, but that's impressive. I'm J.K. Everson, one of the main three guys of Ian Hedge Company. We've been working on movies for about 10 years. It's probably the most creative thing I can do. Personally, I think my strength lies at acting. I love directing as well, because then I don't have to be so much in front of the camera. Sometimes it's more fun to be behind it and lead the story in the way you want it to be. Hello, uh, I am Tommy Tarneski, um, a member of the League of International Filmmakers. I used to make action movies. More recently, I've been making drama films. Drama films that illustrate the vulnerability, the, the weakness, and the evil uh, within um, human beings. But there's a lot of truth when people are being vulnerable and you know, showing their weak side or you know just acting on the evil within them. I think there's a lot of truth in that and it tells a lot about that person. Movies is, is something special to me. It's like a dream. It's like a world of its own. Uh, the first time uh, I remember seeing uh, a Depp film was uh, Clank. First impression that I got, it's super long. I mean, it was over two hours long. Judging from the fact that the film was so long that it was feature length, told me that, you know, these guys are very serious about their work. Actually, they have made a lot of movies that I wish I had made. Um, so. so the movies that they make uh, is the emotion, is the how it makes you feel, how it, may, how it actually makes you feel something. That's why everybody watches movies, you know. I love them. Um, yeah, that film splitting up. I mean, yeah, it bothers me, really. I should think it's better, you know. And, you know, they had a falling out, so, you know. I actually don't miss them. I should like them much better separated. We all, we all have created differences. I think they could do more amazing work that way. 
It's through accepting each other's ideas, creative differences, that the team will become stronger. They can be more individual. I think that's positive. Well, at the moment, I just, you know, I don't know. Uh, it just sucks. You know, I, don't, I, I don't like it. You know, it stresses me out. <laughs> It had been two months since the group had last seen each other. At this point, they had done photo shoots and press tours, and they were getting eager to get back to filming. I had, of course, kept my distance. Sending just my crew to film the behind the scenes, at this point, even my cinematographer knew we had something special. It was clear he had gotten bolder with the footage he was capturing. It didn't help, it didn't. Dennis, uh, I, need, I don't know why you need me right now for this. Yeah, uh, just, just came out of the wardrobe. Just, just, just call the assistant. Just call the assistant. And call the assistant, and she'll take care of this because I'm busy on set right now. I have to go direct my actors. Thank you very much. Did you get ideas? Did you get like that? Did you get like shot? Hey, it's my, my acting coach. Hey, Daniel. Daniel. Uh, hello, I'm David. Pleasure meeting you. No, it's Actually, not. Actually, remember. <clears throat> hmm? It's not a pleasure. It's not? No. All right. For him, I mean for so you. So he's... Well, for him... On set? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's on He's on set. He's not going to be here in the shop, but he's here to help me, you know, prepare. Coolio. Sasha, now. Yeah. Excuse You're going to yeah. my text. Yeah. Excuse me? What is that? This is something Just a moment. in your apartment tomorrow, no, and no. you still haven't signed it. Hey, let it bear out, listen. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, but you have to. I can do that. You can do that. You can do that. I don't know. Good? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I don't know who, if it's his wife or not. That's his wife? Yes, but I I've lived there for two years. It's some long stick thing, you fucking idiot. You can't what? just pull me over. I paid. I used as much as you. I have higher salary than you. While you were like prancing around in your fucking acting career. This is my big break. And you don't want part of that. Sure, that's fine. That's on you. But don't you come here and insult me and then tell me to sign that dotted line. You said you were on the pill. Vera, how the fuck can I be on the pill? There's... You said the you got them. You. you said you got them. Yeah, for you. The American one. For you. No, the one for men. There's no pills for men. Yes, there, there are. There are no pills. Yes, there, there are. are. Only condoms. You walk. <laughs> I just. David, not right now. I'll be with you in a moment. Okay. okay. David, fuck off. I'm... By the way, fire him. He's a liar. Hey, Vera. And stop. a thief. Hey, stop. Listen, that's my employer there. Don't you fucking point. If you don't point fingers at me, I won't point fingers at you. Okay? I can point okay. Okay. What do you I... want to do? What do you want to do now? Sign it! I'm not going to sign this right now. I'm signing this later. My lawyer needs to look at it. You don't have a lawyer. You're I have wrong. a lawyer. I hired him now. I paid for him. No, this is a new lawyer. Oh, where the fuck did you find him? In the fucking dumpster? No, I hired him from a really respectable lawyer agency. Okay, well, you're paying for my medical bill during pregnancy and also the child later in life, if I would decide to have it. And if I don't, you're just gonna have to be fine with me killing it. Because that would be the last part of you that I kill and remove from my life. So, sign it, and you'll get rid of me. May I know can, can, can we, uh, can you? The fuck, the fuck you doing? Bitch, get fuck out of my way! Listen, I'm sorry I, I yelled at you there. It was just, just not a good time. So what happened, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sasha, you're back. Hey, yeah, buddy. yeah. How's it going? Uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah? It's good, yeah. yeah. Be grand, you know, be, you know, do your thing. Um, Rebecca, a nice, steely look, you know. Uh, Sasha, you know, 
that's really good. Keep doing that. <laughs> I think I talk about uh, the bell peppers. Bell peppers, what the fuck? Like? Okay, yeah, no, that doesn't really make sense. Go ahead and cut that. Uh, you can... You can hang out today, okay? Uh, we'll... You'll have scenes next weekend. Yeah, cool. Okay, but, uh... Mm-hmm. No, no, it's good. <laughs> cool. Just, just keep doing, doing, doing what you're doing. Okay, I have to go meet the uh, cameraman for today. You guys haven't met him yet. He's a, he's a real, he's a, he's a real. And he starts talking and then he brings out the gun. I'm sorry, we're we not going to address the fact that your wife just, you know, stormed in here and uh, messed up the whole day of shooting, or you know, we just going to move on. No? You don't want to talk yeah, about it. don't talk about it right no. now. I mean, all right, no, just, just the, leave the work it. environment okay. is not really. You know, hey, it's, I mean, it's, it's, just, it's okay. I mean, Alright, Sasha, Sasha, forget about it. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. My wife has a storm in here, she's got plenty of reasons to yell at me, you know. Okay, but you know what, man? Yeah. No, can when we you're just in this, this situation that I'm in right now, I'm not gonna stand here doing like this, because you know what? You're being a fucking dick right now. Hey, Navid, look me in the eye when I'm talking no, to no, you. No, 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 it's okay. Hey. Just drop it, please. I'm looking at you, man. Right now. Looking at you. If you want to walk out of here right now, you do that. Like things that. happen on set, okay? Mm, not things like that, man. Things like this happen on set. It happened right now. Therefore, things like this happen on set. Do you have a problem right now? Yeah, man. You have a problem right now? Yeah. All right, then we go and take that up right now. I'm not here to fight you. I'm, I'm not here to fight you too, I'm telling you. We walk out, we talk this over, we're done with it then. You should talk to your wife. Wait, That's you my point. Now? I do not know what this is about, situation. but but this is not. I don't. I just. This has gotta. Okay. This is not who you two are. Please. I don't know what this is, and I and it, it shouldn't have happened. I can already tell that much. Please. Fine. Please, could you please shake his hand? Look him in the eyes. What's what's with the looking in the eyes? Look him in the eyes and shake his hand. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Sorry, I yelled at you, man. Sorry, I talked about your wife. Look at that. Fantastic. Beautiful. <clears throat> All right. Use that passion you guys yeah. have burning inside you for this. Yeah. Because you got it. You have a flame and yeah. you can use it well. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. So, uh, so Daniel, I'm, I'm thinking. So, so he's coming in. He's pointing a gun at me. What, what do you think? Where, where should I be? Uh, have you ever had a gun pointed at you before? Uh, not a real gun, no. Yeah, just think about it like this. He's pointing a fucking real gun to you. Yeah. What do you what, like, how would you react? So, my name is Daniel Lopez, and uh, I'm from L.A. Yeah. What I do... Well, I'm an acting coach, right? And, um, what's his name again? Sasha? Sasha? Sasha. He uh, called me up and he wanted me to help him out with this, um, uh, this movie. The problem for me is, you know... Um, like, I've never been in a situation like that, so I don't know. No, but you're a fucking actor. You go into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. But that's why, you know, I, I felt you need to give me something to work with here. Like, give me something that I can take instead to get closer to it. Well, because uh, a lot of actors, they feel very... They feel that they can't bring out the depth, like, for the part. And uh, that's, why I th that's why I think I'm here. And that's what I want to help people with. Excuse me? Hey, uh, I didn't want to introduce, uh, interrupt anything. Hey, real quick, hi again. Yeah, uh, how you doing? Uh, hey, uh, uh, this is one of my actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys met him? Oh, cool. Oh, I didn't want I oh, wanted... Nice meeting you again. Cool. But well, I wanted you guys just to make sure I met. Okay, cool. Well, you can join the other guys on set and... Uh... Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, uh, I'll go. Cool. Hey. <clears throat> Did you know Sasha? Yeah. Or helping him, you know, he's already good enough to, you know, you think you could maybe, uh, coach? You want that guy? Yeah. Um, no, I'm alright. But, like, you don't want to, or you yeah, no, just no. don't think it would... No, you know, I'm here for Sasha. Oh, okay, I understand. Yeah. yeah. I no hard feelings. No, right? no. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I understand. Okay, um... Alright, see you later. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's an interest, interesting character, isn't it? Okay, yeah, well, all I'm saying is that we, I'd like to, the environment to be kept professional yeah, because... That's this my point, exactly. Well, okay, well, you're taking a bit to an extreme here, so could we please... 
Always the bad guy, huh? Uh, I never said that. You're putting words in my mouth, and I don't appreciate that. You put more than words in my mouth. Oh. What was that? What? <laughs> uh, nothing. I'm good. Well, how about you get your little white ass over there and get ready for a set, though? I was to work with David, the director. <coughs> 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 Well, I gotta tell you one thing. Uh, because I know you're not gonna show this to him right now, but. Yeah. We'll film you close, so you know, it'll be fine. So it's gonna look closer? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So don't you think the distance is too far away? Like That's they're too far anyway. away? From no, it's perfectly fine. No, I mean, now they can just run away. Run away, but it's not about running away, it's about the confrontation that is gonna happen. This is, this is they know there is no error to go. He's a fucking amateur, man. Like, seriously. He walks around like he's a fucking joker and pretends he's like a big hotshot director, but he's not. It's... The guy doesn't even have a sound guy. A sound guy, right? A sound guy will be taken care of when the scene is actually happening. So, as I've said, I am practicing getting some angles that I like so I can give them to the cameraman. And his camera's like this tiny. I mean, the size doesn't matter, right? But... It's supposed to be a high budget movie, you should have like at least a freaking, I don't know, Alexa, whatever, right? But <laughs> this guy, <laughs> he's a fucking trust fund baby with too much money, I guess. I guess they could run, but that isn't going to serve the purpose. So they need to confront this. No. All right, no, it's your movie, I'm just messing with you a little bit. Okay, well. But yeah, he's probably a nice guy. But yeah, I would never do a movie with him. Yeah. And Rennie, where the fuck is my cameraman? Where is where is he? The difference between more like I don't know. Okay, can you do it again? And that's my boyfriend. Okay, that's sweet of you, but uh, can you just not interrupt us? Oh, I didn't think I was going to be interrupted, but mm -hmm. all right. Yeah, but you can sit like over there. Oh, oh all right. Yeah. Love you. Just my boyfriend. Oh, hey, 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 may I have a, may I have a phone call the bedding machine? Uh, have to... okay, yeah, sure. We'll come back later, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Okay. okay. Hello. It's fine, it's fine, it'll be fine. Jesus, don't, don't worry about it, man. Action. You know, as they say, karma this, life that, you know. Although this place was never meant to be your tomb, there's something ironic about Just stop your monologue, man. You know I hate those. If you're gonna shoot, just pull the damn trigger. God damn it, Charles, every time. <laughs> Fantastic. Mwah. We did it. Wow. Look at that. The high fives go all around. Oh, I love it. Oh, hugger. That's very nice. Good sound. Very nice. I, I, felt awesome. scared. I felt scared. I really? Did. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. That's what I like to hear. Mm. Beautiful. Hey, uh, Becky, your, your card ain't working. I'm going to get my drink. David, that's probably gone. One more thing, later, and I'm walking off the set. I'm not joking, okay? <laughs> Don't laugh at me, man. I'm not, I'm not laughing. I'm yeah, just. Sure. I think that it's... Should I call my wife over here? I'm gonna do that right now, actually. I mean, if you would like. He's got a god goddamn cowboy hat on, man. Okay, I am not gonna be... I will not say I'm not perplexed by his choice of clothing. But okay. th th that does not mean that that affects the way I deal with it. It was an unwelcome Not deal with it. You're not doing anything. It's an, your fucking an, boyfriend un you're talking about. Well, but he, what is he doing here? What is your goddamn wife doing here? What is your boyfriend doing here? Where's my wife? Huh? What's the problem here? Where's my gun? I'm going crazy here, David, and I'm not your goddamn pupil. You don't fucking finger wag me, man. Just, just have a talk with me. Just one on one. 
Just one more. You guys are so unprofessional. I'm the only person doing a goddamn job here, man. Hey, don't you look at me like I'm fucking doing anything crazy, man. You're the guys who are crazy. I'm fucking pissed off. Piss the fuck off. He's got his acting coach here, by the way. I would very much like to work with you. I can't work in a goddamn place where people's fucking spouses come in in the middle of a goddamn rehearsal with a cowboy hat on asking for God knows what. This is not professional, man. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm screaming, but I can't help it. I'm here to do a job, man. I'm getting paid for this of shit. Of course. And, and so, so are they. And if they would like their families to come, they, uh, should I say no? Yes! Yes, that's exactly what you should do. You're the director. You're the boss. You should establish boundaries. And by the way, I did not appreciate the way you cornered me back there a few months ago, man. Cornered you? You fucking cornered me, man. Don't be fucking sarcastic with me, man, because I'm gonna me too your ass all the way to straight heaven, man. I'm gonna me too your ass, man. Because because you ass. cornered me and nobody saw you anything. You cornered me. You cornered me, man. Cornered I would say me. you touched me where <laughs> I don't want to be touched. Please. That's right. Navid, That's it, right. out of all the people to get back in the scandal, let's not point. <laughs> oh, the scandal is going to be all yours, my friend. All yours. Oh, sorry. I just have to show you some context. Hey, hey. Don't, don't, don't look at me like I'm insane, man. You wish. You wish you could live like me, motherfucker. You wish. Oh, this is life, man. You're, you're violating private property here. What did you say? You're a motherfucker, right? You're a motherfucker. Fuck you. Hit me. Hit me again. Hit hey, me again. Fuck you. I'm not. I'm Hit me. Listen, I'm not looking to catch a fucking lawsuit, all right? I, I have Bill Clinton's lawyers, motherfucker. Listen, you're ruining my high, man. Why are you going to do that shit? It's not a kid. I'm getting on my ride, and I'm going fucking home. Now we're back. I can't. I really can't. If you don't want to be here, then just Rebecca, go. Rebecca. Leave, okay? I'm gone. Bye. I'm gone. I'm gone. Good luck. Good luck with Oh my god. We don't want you anywhere. Rebecca, I would. Uh, Rebecca, please. Uh, uh, people are Dennis can do the part. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm, I'm doing the part? I'm doing the part? Are you sure he's coming back? I'm pretty sure he's coming back because otherwise, David, you know, David. this is a bit of a dribble dabble Yeah, I mean, but, I mean, he Dave. doesn't have to come back, right? Like, Dave, well, he Dave, does listen. have to come back. Listen, Dave, <laughs> there's a difference between an off day mm -hmm. and just a catastrophe. Okay. Everyone has an off day. Someone comes in, they feel, I'm not feeling very well. They do a bad scene. That's an off day. I'm very sorry to you, and I'm very sorry to you, uh, so, so very much. And I will, I will handle this as I promised I was going to from day one. So yeah. I am going to take care of this. Thank and it's you. all going to be okay. Right. I Thank promise. You. It's been there since Just what? Jealous. When did we start? Seven. Seven I didn't see anyone come in to yell at him. I didn't see him have any problems. Why is he getting so upset? Well, on the bright side, we all have an off day now, right? Right? So it's a number like a gang. We all have off days. <clears throat> I'm gonna go make a call. How I think the day went? To be honest, I think it was shit. I mean, I'm getting paid, so I shouldn't complain, but... Like, the actors is shit. Uh, the script... I haven't even been able to hear, like, read the script, right? And this guy, the director, he's, like, too much all over the place, and then he has this little midget running with him. I don't know. I told Sasha one thing, right? I told him, I'll give you one tip. And uh, don't fucking do the movie. But then again, he told me it was getting good pay. So I was like, all right, do it. Let's hope that they don't show it. <laughs> fucking hell. This is, this is nothing. All right. You're a king, you're a star. This is nothing. All right, all right let's get in there. Sorry, I'm uh, sorry I got out there. there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A little upset. Yeah. I'll go get the camera. Yeah. So what do you do? Hey, son. Oh, hello. I. Uh, uh, why don't you tell me? Have you ever um, rode bareback? Do you catch my drift? I don't think I do. Alright, well, 
here's my number, just in case you ever want to tame your wild horse. I better get going now. O okay. After David having a close encounter with a midnight cowboy, Sasha's marriage collapsing around him, Naveed's outbursts and lack of empathy. Things were definitely tense on set, but just because there are a few bumps on the road doesn't mean that the wagon has to go off track. An interesting thought came to mind. Rebecca and Dennis seem to be overshadowed by the egos of Sasha and Naveed. Are they afraid to confront them? When is enough enough? I wonder if either of the two will be able to find their voice. Honestly, I was rooting for them. David, on the other hand, is trying to leave their shade, but seems to be casting one of his own. Now let's hope their upcoming film days will go smoother than this. I mean, they still have to film. <sighs> The pregnancy scene, the murder scene, the kidnapping scene, the dancing scene, other dancing scene, the experimental drug-infused scene, the black and white scene, the action scene, the wedding scene, the prison scene, evil twin scene, the basketball dog scene, oh, the sexy skateboarding scene. <laughs> I will give you this much, David. This has certainly never been done before. <laughs> Did you guys know about this? Okay, quick anecdote. So, there's this scene in the movie where Dennis's character Jimmy and Rebecca's character Debbie go to her farm. Yeah, she owns a farm. Jimmy and Debbie were going out to milk the cows. The best I can tell, David wanted this scene to be some sort of a metaphor for rebirth. <laughs> but Rebecca claimed she was lactose intolerant and refused to touch the cow's udder. So she requested a stunt double. And Dennis ended up getting chased for more than 10 minutes by the cows in the field. <laughs> oh, safe to say, that scene never got made, probably for the best. Here we have more of these, <laughs> for lack of better words, insane shooting days see some of the bad, some of the good, and some of the bizarre that this movie had to offer. Okay everyone, today we have a nice uh, distinguished actor of us today. Please everyone say hello to Yoran. Yoran, text him a gift Hello. Hello. So, politeness. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Welcome. Hi, good to see you. This is the, the bit more experimental the scene in the movie and you guys are happy, you're euphoric, you know, you're 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 swaying to music, you're you're dancing away, um, you know, very art house and, uh, stuff. Who, who's he? He is like your savior, like he is he is the person. Hmm? The, the all right. Yeah. Are we like hugging him? Like Yeah, sure, you can yeah. all hug him and stuff, you know, dance with him, you know, all that stuff. You know, we're ready to see how he looks. Should you give me a, give me a taste? Dance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. You guys ready to just give me a feel? Okay. Uh, what, what kind of dance do you want? Upbeat or? Do what feels natural. You know? natural give me, okay. give me what you like. Very nice. Okay. 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 Very good. Dennis, nice. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. All right. He gets it. All right. Let's uh, affect this movie. Yeah. I'll go get the camera and uh, we'll start filming. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Be right. Be right. Be right back. Uh, I'm so I'm sorry about him, you know. <laughs> you know, it's a it's it's a shame, you know. I'm I'm glad you're here, you know, don't get me wrong, but you know, an actor of your caliber shouldn't you know, have to I'm sorry about that, really. <coughs> but yeah. Glad you're here. Really glad you're here. Yeah. Yeah. David works in special ways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. I'll, um... Very 
very persuasive. Stand here and you say, I, I, I've saved you all, I've killed them, you know, the lions, yeah? Mm -hmm. Remember, you're the Messiah, you're God, you're Jesus, you're, you're a savior, you're, 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 you're Moses, you're mm -hmm. saving the people, you are the hero, yeah? Yeah. Venice? Uh, yeah. Yes, Venice. And then uh, after your own sense is lions, you can come out and, you know, give us one of your singers, yeah? Okay. It's, it's great to be doing a scene with you, man. I'm really looking forward to it. He's going to say, I've killed him, I've saved you all, something like that. Do you think the witty one-liner kind of takes away the emotion of the scene, or...? Uh, you're more like helping, like, uh, relieve the tension. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Mm -hmm. I'll think of something, I'll think of something. Ah. I have killed him. You're safe. You're free. I mean, I've heard of a messiah, but this is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Action. Down, little boy. What is happening? Sasha, for fuck's sakes. It wasn't my fault. Was it your fault? It wasn't my fault. All right, okay. not your fault. That's it. Now, where are the, the mittens? The yeah. damn gem. You want to try? The, the, well, this is your gem. Does it look like it's not my... The, no, that is exactly what you addressed as. What, Dennis, what the fuck? I can't. We're doing springs. I can't see what this... Is. Should, should, should this be on? Yes, this? just have them on. It's not so hard. Just focus. Yeah, if bats can do it, yeah. you can do it. If you can, drop it and hit it twice. Okay, <laughs> that sounds dangerous. What are we... I dropped it. I'm dropping it. Oh wow, he's dropping. Dropping. <laughs> this is how you were sunk. You rolled over, you see how far you get. Like this. Sounds... How would you do? Was was that far or was it? <laughs> okay, Sasha, you seem to yeah. know your way around. So yeah. you can maybe guide them through a sure. exercise routine and sure. film you guys kind of like bonding experience, your friends, yeah. you know. Sure. You guys like to go to the cafe together. Remember that scene we filmed together, all of us in the cafe at your work at the law firm. You know, most places of employment have a local gym. Uh, when, when do we have breakfast? Breakfast. It's breakfast. it's 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 one thirty. I mean, yeah. So okay. <laughs> Where's my breakfast margarita, bro? We ate two hours ago. What about second breakfast? Okay. Is this is like a Lord of the Ring reference? Okay. Seriously, where is my I, margarita? Oh, I got that. Uh, not the margarita I didn't get. Uh, I oh, can damn. have one brought to you, I suppose. Please, please do. And and David, mm. what, what am I doing? You're uh, you're following uh, Sasha's lead, yeah. Yeah. And and where's Sasha? So right in front of you. What? To your left. Where are you? Where, to your where left. are you doing, Dennis? To your left, Dennis. Dennis. To your left. Dennis. There we go. Well, oh, why, why you are you? you? You can stop there. Easy. That that was. That's fine. I think you were Is almost. Good? Yeah. Because thank God, it looks like we were heading for a sexual assault charge. All right, let's get this ready. Really? Sometimes when you, like you said, do physical scenes, it's easier to get into the skin of your character, and I feel like uh, we all did that a little bit yeah. today. Yeah. Maybe. Absolutely. You know. I think the inclusion of the, of the goggles. At first, I was very Mark confused. 
You know the goggles I was wearing? When you were wearing goggles? Yeah, at first I was very confused the, because they weren't seen. But I think I get it now because not being able to see anything, you just focus on on, on the raw power, you know. Mm -hmm. You're not focusing on anything else. You're just focusing on lifting that weight. You know what I mean? I got it. I got what David wanted. I, I finally understood. Because at first I just thought, what a, what a weird detail. Just goggles? Yeah. yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh, hello! It looks like Pauli made it to, sh to the shoot. I'm so where, happy. Where are we right? putting the... We're going to put it where I'm going to tell you. Put it. We can just put it over there somewhere. Okay, you don't have to fucking drop. Jesus, are you drunk? God, no, 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 no. When I said you could borrow... Hey, do you have my margarita? No, he does not have your margarita. Ah, so everyone, this is Pauli. He used to work with me and, and stuff. Now him. he's right. here right. because he knows what he does. He, he's one of the best camera operators there is, so he, that's why he's here. Uh, these are the stars of the movie. This is Sasha, Rebecca, Hi. Navid, and there's Dennis over there. I see they gave you that coat. This is who I am. Okay, that's so fine. Like, they like don't... I don't, I don't mind who you are. Don't comment. No, no sir. All right. Good Paul, don't let him step on you, man. Okay. This is yeah, yeah, a little shorter. Between I guess. us, I'm, I'm only back for the money. Like he paid oh, me no, because I, I like get he, it. I get it, man. I'm only, I'm only here for the money. Like, oh, I get it. I, like, I get it. You know, I get it. The cost, get it. you know, between you and me. Like, don't don't, don't say too loud, man. I get it. This is, I get it. It's my last thing. You know. like, hey, I'm not you, gonna. You gotta pay the rent. I'm not gonna come back. This is just like a one thing. No, I get it. I get it. Sure. Uh, yeah, sounds sounds rough, man. Do you you need some help with that? I mean, if you know how to get a girl's virginity back, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to that. No, I, I was referring to the, uh, the work ethic. Okay, well, that was an interesting take on what we previously established. Um, I thought it was a good direction, you know, a little crispiness. I, you know? I, crispiness. Well, now, to, say, to tell someone that, if you're a lawyer. That kind of I don't know. I'm, I'm an actor, man. I'm not a lawyer. I don't okay. know. Uh, well, that, that felt a little... Um, it felt a little... A little extreme, yeah. maybe. Uh, what? Really? I mean, the mooning one was fine enough. It was a bit outlandish, but, you know... The, the, the underage statutory... Yeah, a little, a little, a little... A it little, was a little, a little too much. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, this one? Yeah, put that on. the audience connect to him if you had the ski mask on in a gym? I mean, you don't understand the struggle? Yeah. Was, was, a, was a self reflection of how Dennis, uh, his character felt because the, 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 the shadow, the overcoming uh, uh, crisis of the robbery is weighing heavy on him and he can't see himself as nothing but a criminal but the robber, the, the faceless goon then that is he to become mm. because of you know, okay. the, the plans that have been oh, put yeah, in motion yeah. by Navi. So see, that's wow. why we work with him. Yeah, because yeah. you know, that's great. That's yeah, great. I get it. He's yeah, got that symbolism. It. Yeah, locked down. That was it's great, man. That, yeah. that that kind of stuff <laughs> gets me so excited. You know, that I'm part of this production. And it's never been guys. done before. You know, no, it's never yeah. been like done. you, you, yeah, no. you've had symbolism, but not like. Not the ski Blend mask. No, the, not yeah. not blended with reality like it was in this case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so glad to be working with you guys. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah me too, man. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Camera. Yeah. I, the, okay. Jesus. Jesus. Are we done? Uh, yeah. Oh, here it is. Oh, this guy done. This guy's done nothing for me. So you keep you okay. stop filming. No production until next weekend. Uh, no. I am gonna be out of country, so you guys can um, handle yourselves. Good. Yeah. yeah? Mm? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks a bunch. Take a, take the time to refresh yourselves. Get ready and learn that monologue, Sasha. Oh yeah, I got you down. Good. It's unlocked. Bye. Good. Bye bye. Bye, bye Dave. Bye. See you guys on week. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Excuse me. I have an appointment. I have to make to the airport in time. Thank you very much. Oh, hi. Just working away here on my latest project, Yellow the Horror Movie. Uh, should be out by the time you see this video. If you don't know anything about myself, my name is Dylan McKay. I run the production company All But One Productions, Depp Films, D-E-P Films, David Emilio Pauly Films. My first memories with them were really when they were making their Clank films. I thought they were doing an incredible job and it was very 
similar to what I was doing and it was something I could look to and be inspired by and see the locations and the action and the stunts and the character work that these guys were doing and, and be influenced it myself. What has really been impressive to me is the progression that DEP Films has taken in making very serious pieces of art that have really complex characters and complex themes and ideas all the way up through cold words. Um, I've just been really impressed with the progression and, and the consistent output and quality output, mind you. Why are you filming me? Okay, so this is the dance scene, you know, it's the big, you know, entertainment dance scene, you know, it's the party, so everyone's kind of like doing like a fun dance. Uh, dance person isn't here, but of course I was with them the whole time and, you know, did the whole thing, so I'm just going to show you guys kind of what I'm expecting. Okay, Why are we dancing? Because it's like a big happy tremendous thing, come on, it's going to look beautiful, with like the colors and the, and the screen I, and the whole... Should and I everyone. really be... Yeah, so all, all of you and they're going to be behind you guys, like dancing. I, I, <laughs> it's going to be fantastic, don't worry about it, it's never been done before. Come on. Yeah, so, so you're going to be our dance choreographer. Yeah, of course. But David, <laughs> don't dance. Hey, I don't dance. Of course you it's dance. My, no, it's in my... Hey, hey, it's not dancing, it's acting. No, I act, I don't dance. Hey, okay, look, just tell him to act like he's dancing. That's, so, it's gonna be something like this. I maybe maybe a pirouette. I like pirouettes. Do a pirouette. You guys give me a pirouette. Which way? Left or right? Mm, go, go that way. Yeah. Left, okay. Like okay, so, on three, guys. So, we yeah, don't want to hear pirouettes. One, two, three. Or maybe I want to So, when we've done this, we just like. Yeah. It'll, it'll be like a nice, lighthearted moment. I like it. Hey, and then we have lunch and then the robbing scene, and then we're done for the day. A little weird. Feels a little weird? Why? Why? The dance choreography. I think it's. I yeah. like it. Oh, you know, you did very nice. It's very, um, it's very. It is, it is. I mean, you know, how many times have you seen this in like a... I don't get it, but yeah. if you... Hey, you did great, he did great, you guys did great, it's going to be great. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 I, it's, I did great. You, you keep on doing it, man, you do it, you do it. You, you, you shake, you shake it, you know? D David, David, hmm? I think he's calling his lawyer or an agent to make sure he doesn't have to do this thing. Okay, well, that'd be interesting. i like to see him try. His contract says he has to, so. Really? That's a waterproof contract right the there, contract. David. I, I wrote it in there, then the dance number. Side, side, pirouette, knee, <sighs> just hands. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, three, two, one. With baby steps, I'm gonna go for basic steps. Punching, kicking, can't roll. Basic, right? Basic, basic, no problem. Should we level up? Yeah. No, yeah. wait, wait, Let, uh, let's just uh, stick a little bit with we, the roll we, right there. Well, roll. I can show the roll again. Yeah, yeah, like a little slower because it was like so fast. Uh, yeah, okay. The roll itself. Okay, I can roll again. Okay, you can roll again. Look at him go. See, like that, yeah? Like on your shoulder and then you... Okay. Get it! Hello. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, how about you? Want to give <coughs> it a roll? Come on, you okay, buddy? Come on. There you go. Yeah, yeah, good yeah, big yeah, guy, yeah. good man. Hey, Sasha, you want to give it a roll? Of course he's okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. He told me that. It's gonna be fighting, it's gonna be gunfire and, and whatsoever, and kind of a robbery or whatever. I mean, stuff like that. I prepared my mind. A hard punch is a. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah? What happened? I do. I didn't touch you, right? No, it's no, not it's 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 real. Like, yeah, so that's like what are you gonna so, do so, in the movie? So I should. No, 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 to come to my workshop and uh, do a uh, rehearsal and stuff like that, nothing happened. I don't know where it got stuck, but on the set, oh my fucking god! What are you doing? Are you don't still recording the, the, the scene? scene? We've literally just started. What do you mean? Like, like, we're set to no, film in five minutes. Well, can you? Yeah. yeah. Maybe he can do kicks yeah. then. Yeah. Kicks he can kicks. do. Kicks. Rolls kicks. no, not so much. Yeah. Do it again. Whoa, oh my like god! Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah. I know it's terrible, man. It's terrible. Training is a, or, I mean, the of course it's part of the schedule. Yeah. No, yeah, for 20 minutes. I think he he done what he could out of the situation, but he didn't have the situation in control at all. I mean, like, we can just go fast and just hold the guns and, and that's it. I guess they'll just hold a fucking gun. 
All right, that, that's it. I guess they're fucking ready then. I mean, he's a crazy person, and he cannot be a producer of a movie. Never again. It just show Navi. He's the only one of a gun, so just show him how to do it then. Yeah. All right, sure. sure. All right. Yeah. Hey, uh, Navi, do you ready? He's just gonna show you how to hold a gun. You know, like the cool way of doing it, like and properly. Right. Yes, Navi. All right. So give us your idea. Hold a gun. Yes. Yes. Блять, yes. сколько вы еще тут будете снимать, а? Когда мы заканчиваем снимать тут? I'm sorry, what? Когда мы заканчиваем тут снимать? I completely by the. I, I, I think he, he asked in Russian when. I he... sure he did. I do not speak the Russian, so therefore I cannot assist, can I? Like that, and then just hold like that. Yeah. They don't but really. This is a 21st century movie, right? All right. So we do it different. Okay. Like he, he, he knows his shit. Matrix and all that. Shit. You guys see Matrix? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I mean, it's like powerful. Yeah. Standing right. I mean. Yeah. You, you know what you're gonna do. Yeah. Okay, no thumbs here, not on the trigger. This is your lady, okay? Stand here. Stand here, I'll come back to you. God damn it. Okay. And action. So, gentlemen, as you may have uh, noticed, you guys are our hostages for the day, which means you do exactly as we say, when we say it, and not a second later. Do you understand? Yes. I didn't hear you, did you understand? Yes. Good. Now, how long until the boys in blue show up? Five minutes, ten tops. All right, that gives us enough time. You two, go get the money. Yes. Hurry on. And as for you, gentlemen, today was supposed to be a simple robbery in and out. No mess. I'd like us to keep it that way. Wouldn't you agree? But looking at you sorry lot, I just feel like killing something. I just feel like I don't know. It's almost like I can taste your your fear. You stink of it. You you smell like a like a deer when I've shot it in the leg and it's been running for two miles, bleeding to death slowly. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. But not today. <laughs> not today. This day will only be a robbery. Lucky you. Listen to me now. We had a good run, old chap, but someone's gonna take the fall, and that someone is you. All right, Jimmy. Let's get the fuck out of here. Now the trailer was released, and we could get an accurate reaction to what the people thought about it. It was generally well received, and it gave people an art house vibe. Of course, we were curious to see what the indie scene thought of this as well. No, don't look at him. It's nothing to do with this. He doesn't matter anymore, okay? Just look around. They, they, they already made this. Holy... Holy fuck, this is like the fucking greatest film I've ever seen! What the fuck? Holy fuck. You know, that's that's gonna win like fucking all of the Oscars. Director, picture, fucking best janitor.
That said, the trailer for One Crow World looks really suspenseful, and it looks like another great drama project, which I know DP Films has excelled at in the past. Watching the trailer for One Crow World got me hyped. This looks wild. A mind bending emotional journey that I'm honestly just not even sure what to expect, and I love that. The work that David has done on a One Crow World. Beautiful. Beautiful. Truly amazing work. And it, to me, it feels like the purest level of indie filmmaking. I like the music, the production value, looks like some great uh, settings, locations used. It's just the artists and the creators at the core of being themselves and having the freedom to just do what they want, but then to actually go for it. And that's not easy to do without like a, a high level budget. So I'm really looking forward to see how the project turns out. It looks like, it looks different um, compared to what they used to make. And it definitely puts me in check and says, wow, I don't have excuses to not be putting out content or not continue to push to make new films and, and follow my dreams and continue to just make what I want to make, you know, regardless of success or fame. I'm just very skeptical. If it'll make me feel what depth films always allowed me to feel. Human content, relatable content, I'm excited to see it. I'm excited for One Crow World. I think there's a high possibility that I will be disappointed. There's nothing to be sad about, really. Yeah. I won't lie to you. I spent several nights losing my mind, laughing at 2 a.m. at the top of my lungs, scaring my dog. It was impossible to be one of the few people that was seeing what I was seeing and not be able to share it with the world. By now everyone knows, but back then I had the golden ticket and I couldn't even cash it in. The pre-screening was coming up. There was pressure and anticipation from the production companies, followers and friends. David was at the end of the line. All of them were. But after bottling up so much of what had been happening, it was about time that the bottle popped. So we were left with rage, regrets, and reshoots. A few big scenes left, some reshoots, and the movie is done. What was left was important. A couple big monologues which would require the full capabilities of actors to deliver. Hopefully they could do just that. Some did, some didn't. But before all of that, David had to have that awaited pre-screening. And there was only one person's opinion that could get to him. So that was the movie, everyone. Thank you very much for being at the pre-screening of, uh, of A Wonk Crow World. <laughs> I know I had a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, thanks everyone for coming. And uh, uh, <laughs> I hope you guys come for the real premiere, you know, after we sort out the Dead Kings and stuff. So uh, bye everyone, keep on going. I'll see you guys. Bye everyone. Bravo, bravo. You call that a movie? I'm sorry, what the fuck are you doing here? I've seen better, like, like, I mean, if you want to film life, like, actually start reflecting on your life, like, you're taking other people's moments and putting it in the Excuse me, place. security, could you please come and this man off the premises? Like, this man right here, what are you... Dennis, okay, why the hell are you something. still doing here, Dennis? Everyone else left. Like, my suit costs more than your life oh, does, David. Jesus, fuck you're like, no, I don't want to make a big studio film. This, this is what it is. This it's is it. Life, you have it. It's about reflecting this on your own life. This is fucking life. All I'm no, 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 saying no, no, no. is that you're you gave up. You, you gave the fuck up. You gave up.
because you didn't want to fucking make this the way you wanted to make it. Look, and I got a bunch of million dollars in my bank account. What do you got? Hey, you have what do you got? Me? I actually have You're this. alone in a the movie theater, man. You have nothing. Come over here. You're just midget over Out. here. Out! I'm dropping the fuck out! I'm dropping it. There you go. Out! Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. Dennis! <laughs> yeah? Out! Uh... <laughs> Uh, we're having shots after, after the, uh, we're having shots, right? <coughs> 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 I didn't know that was a thing. Fuck, we need him today, man. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, cool, this, cool, this, cool, this. We are coming down here. Um, tables, if they could be arranged in a manner that isn't fucking asinine, would be nice. Who's gonna do that? No, I'm the cameraman. Fantastic, but you know what? Today is time to uh, delve out of our comfort zone uh, and arrange these tables, uh, Marcel. Fuck. I'm, you know, I'm the sound guy. You pay me to take sound, that's what I'm gonna do. Great, uh, move these tables and tell me what kind of sound they make. So, um, arrange these in a fashion where it's... And also, why the fuck are there leaves on the ground? Who the f... Could we please it's just... the art department. The art department. Yeah, the the, art are you department. are you fucking pulling art department on me? Okay, no, well the art department. You hired art department. So I, they're doing the job. Okay, well leaves aesthetically pleasing. Yes, I want to feel like it's autumn indoors. Fantastic. Why don't we fucking open the windows up and have it pouring rain on us as well while we're at it? Then. Well, then you have to go to the art department. Because that's something the art department would do. What's this problem? Cunt. This looks kind of kind of nice. Maybe this could be where they have the party scene. These tables look nice. They're here. Like, oh yeah. If I could close this door. No. Okay. Well, that's fine. The chairs, the shit here. They can. Some people can be sitting there. Some people only have fucking have some fucking people. Ah. Me! Okay, this is where we're having it. Fuck, fuck the damn thing. Yes. So, um, monologue today, Sasha? Yeah. yeah. You yeah. very good. I know you know what's up. Yeah. Very nice. So, uh, party scene, kids. You guys know what's... This is it. One of the big days. You know, we're, we're, we're at the end goal here. This is, this is basically one of the last days of filming. You know, this has been a journey and it's been a pleasure to have you around me and be part of this film and then yeah. uh, I guess Same. technically we're not all done. The, what's left is actually that premiere. That's yeah, really the end line and uh, you get to show the whole world what we've made here and um, mm. watch them in amazement mm. as they are amazed. Mm. Um, so uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I have some lines here for you and Abby. Uh, blue. Uh, uh, red for you, Rebecca. Right. Uh, Sasha, you're orange. Oh, this, this is the monologue. Yeah. Oh, actually, that should be, uh, actually, as well. But you, yeah, also, so don't, yeah, it's yeah. fine. I'll, just um, the entire page. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, good. Yes, the party scene. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Dennis, you go ahead and mingle with them, you know, be part of the character, be there in the scene. Okay. Yeah, good man. Thank you very much. We all good to that. Yep. Thanks, man. Oh, oh. See you later. rough. Um, cool. Really excited. I'm really, yeah. really excited Coming to see up. all the work we've done. Ooh. Doing our thing. Yeah. All right. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. Right. Mm. You good, buddy? Mm. You good, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Just uh, oh, we're we're going now. Oh, we can. You can take a second if you need it. Don't worry. No, no. I I just didn't know. I didn't know where we're going. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. No, no, no. We're just too worried. Oh. Okay. 
cool. Why cool. is it so dark in here? Uh, the lighting is fine. All right, guys, let's uh, get a bit together, shall we? Put some tables together, different people, mix and match. Uh, how about we have you over here? Bingo, bango. Uh, let's see. We can have. We can have. Uh, yes, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you guys, doing alright? Um, you're the stunt coordinator, right? Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Hi, by the way. Um, Chang, yeah? Yes, hello. Yeah. Uh, huh, that's interesting. We don't yeah. think of so a stunt for today. Pardon me? Uh, could you for a second, real quick? But, but if you don't mind and you're here, you know, you're going to pay it anyway, uh, would you like to just stand and join the party? You know, be part of the crowd, I, I, I guess? Yeah. Um, Hey, Timo, I'm so glad you can make it to the premiere, or helping us here, even though yeah, we didn't part on the best of terms. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Oh, okay. You're not doing theater? No. no. Really? Yeah. That's a shame. That's just a hobby, you know. Yeah, you're gonna help me. You, you truly gonna help me. If you're, if you're like such a sidekick, no. I, I really need to say this to him. It's like. It's not much, but I started to write it when I knew he would be here. I've been written down. Mm -hmm. Let's see where I can find it. Here. It's a long monologue, but you know, it's something short, just five pages. But I really need to go and speak to Sasha. He's like a yeah, sure. role model. I have to a scene with, uh, with this man over here, too. We have a pretty, pretty emotional scene together. I'm more of the c c comedic relief there, but um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I saw, I saw the trailer. It was amazing. Yeah. It worked. Yeah. yeah. I'm it's, also a lot, it's a lot of fun to film that scene. Hey, do you have weed? Coke? Ketamine. Her heroin? Acid? On ketamine. LSD? Only ketamine. Caracadillo. You're not supposed to drink. Easy, buddy. Yeah. It's uh, you know, it's supposed to last. You guys are but, supposed but, to have But but remember, my character, he robs the place because he's, he constantly feels like people need to see him. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he never gets the attention that he deserves. <laughs> he sure doesn't. That's so I thought, in order to cope with this, sh this, this stuff, stuff, yeah. he needs to drink. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't realize the tragedy of the situation. Okay, that's that's what I'm thinking. That's a good oh, point. Cheers to that. You need some water. Cheers to yeah, that. Yeah, let's. Uh, no, I need another drink. Oh, no. go get another drink. Okay. I do. Hey. He needs a water, David. He okay? needs a many Before things. Before we do any stuff, he's, he's fine. fine. He's, he's fine. fine. He's fine. I'll take care of him. You fine. will yeah. take care of him. He's okay, fine. There he goes. Okay. I'm fine. Cool. I know. I know. Um, it's Sasha. You got this, buddy. I promise. Ain't nothing gonna happen. No. Yeah, I, I get that. Like, I'm fine, but if something happens, it's just the production, you know. Yeah, I know, I understand, but hey, we're at the end line here, so even if something happened, am I right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't feel Can you remind us, me again, what we're going to film? You got that party scene that is in front of your fucking eyes. See those people? Party? That is the party that I have, and that is the party you will film. Oh. The party sucks. Hey, you know what? I don't make the party. I, uh, I I make the movie. No, because your movie sure starts too. Man. Okay, well I don't know what kind of like hippy dippy cocaine parties you go to, but uh, this is what I have. So uh, everything this doesn't have to do with drugs. Uh, for you, maybe not. No, all right. What do I do? You this said you had a, like a boom mic yes. I could use. Uh, well, all this? right. Uh, that what's is this? okay. Well, my question for you is: Do you not have your equipment? No, you said you would provide. Why it. would I? Why would I, the director, bring the camera, the boom, the food? Everything else, why, why would I have all of those things? The whole point of having people to do that is so you don't have to do it yourself. You see my dilemma? Where's the punch? You know, I was really close to uh, giving you the punch for a second there. Is healthcare involved? Healthcare? You have to legally have to have it. A ceiling like could fall yeah. on you and you'll be fine. You're then insured, I the guy. Contract again. I mean, fuck, you have a copy, so I don't know. Man, this is the wackest shit I've ever seen on. Not so far. Okay, let's go film this. David, can you believe the goal of this guy? He's actually paid this guy, Kevin, to come here and try to put us down and make sure he's the main focus of the movie. He didn't pay. He's just the best. It's the work that those, those guys 
put on this project. He's being it's, mean to us. Good. I'm very I'm sorry, naked. Rebecca. Uh, like, uh, Sasha, buddy, what, David, what is this David, attitude? David, yeah. David, it's not about that. I mean, it's I mean, not, it's not, not, look, I really don't listen to it. I really appreciate it. I promise I really you, I have not called by anyone. anyone. You're gonna have a gun later, you know? A gun is very dangerous. Right. Well, wait, so, it's real so let's put it this one. Over there. Alright? Okay. Sasha, you ready? Yeah. Alright. And action. Where's the camera? It's taken care of. No. Have several. Yeah, just so you know. You know it. You just do your thing and go. You know, life is complicated, Debbie. Um, it has its ups and downs, and... Uh, That's not the lines. Uh, buddy, are you sure you got the lines right? Well, I, I mean, uh, yeah. Okay. You want to some? Oh, yeah? One more time? Yeah. Okay, from the top. Just... If you're your character, you're at the party, you're about to dump your emotional input yeah. and, 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 and weight on, onto, onto Debbie. And this is your, your, your wisdom, your, 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 re your realization that has built up after all this time. Here is the moment. Yes. Yes. And <clears throat> You know, life is complicated, Debbie. Uh, it has its ups and downs, and it, it, it can be crazy. You, know? you, you, want, you wake up in the morning and... and, and line. Line. Shh, Dennis, it's okay. You know, he, 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 he knows what he's doing. No, he knows no, what he's doing. No, I'm good. Shh. I just need a line. So, I need someone to read Where? Say it again, it and one more time. You're doing great, Sasha. Come on. So, where did you stop off? I stopped off at, um, life is crazy. Life is crazy. Uh, life is complicated. I know that you know that as well, but I don't want to live that way. I spend too long angry at the world. I not angry at nothing for me. So now I just want to smile when I wake up or of that because without you, there isn't much point in being happy. Life is complicated. I know that. You know that. We, we both know that. It, it's tough and it's cruel and it's crazy. And, Sorry. and the world we live in is, is, is it's awful. But, but I don't want to live it like that. Because I think that if I don't have you, then, then I'm not going to be the one to smile when I wake up. And if I wake up without you, then, then you're, it's, it's not going to be worth smiling. So, I, I don't know what else to say. Sasha, buddy, can you come here for a second, yeah. please? Yes. Okay. Yeah. How are you feeling? No, I'm feeling good. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know why I did that. Come here. Stay. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay. 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 Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Look at me. You're a star. Yeah. You're a king. And you got king. this. I got this. Get up there. Yeah. <coughs> From the top. Action. Should we like hold hands or something? Go for it. <coughs> Life is complicated. I know that. You know that. We, we both know that. So I, I'm just... I'm kind of lost because that was not the lines. <coughs> you got this, Asha. Yeah, I know. Okay, okay let's take a five minute break. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> Neato. Let's, let's do that. Let's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Hey, Rebecca, can I talk to you for a quick sec? Yeah. You seem to know the lines, yeah? Yeah. You know them? Sure. Like, like by heart, like it, the monologue. Sasha has. Do, do you think you could do it? Instead of him? Yeah, yeah sure. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll go out there, uh, we'll do a shot of you saying the monologue and stuff. And, you know, we'll tell them, we'll, we'll you know, we'll just, like, just let's try, just to see how it works out. Maybe it works good if your character's saying it, just to, you know, experiment, yeah? Okay, so let's we'll, try. That's cool. Oh, context. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh,
Do you guys feel like doing another take? Yeah, sure. Cool. Uh, okay. Yes. Could you please over here? Hey, uh, hey David. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Um, <laughs> Fuck you. So let's do let's do uh, another take. And uh, could we have this one uh, with Rebecca doing the monologue? I want to put international trailers. So yeah, have sure. a shot of her doing yeah, that. Sure. So this time, if you can think you can do it. Cool. So let's have a shot of that. Action. Life is complicated. I know that you know as well. But it's just, knowing doesn't make it any easier. It's painful, hurtful, filled with sorrow and regret. But I don't want to live it that way. I spent so long being angry at the world, angry at myself, angry at you, angry at everything I could. So now, I just want to smile when I wake up, good or bad, because it can't possibly be worse than before. I want happiness, and joy, and love, and I hope that you can be part of it, because without you, there isn't much point in being happy. Beautiful. It wasn't such a but it was all right. It was 10 Ooh. times better. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Huh? He's ready. He's ready, man. He's, he's limber. He's he ready. He will do what he's got to do. I'm ready. Yeah, that's right. And David, yeah. talk about my dialogue mm. with that's Sasha. Fine. When, that's fine. Have you seen you uh, Drunken do Master? Here, dialogue right? with Sasha? Yes. Is that what I practice all night, so I know my lights. No, no, no. I, if, if you want, I can You're also help Sasha with okay, his, well, because I know them. <laughs> of course. Right. Well, the thing is, uh, we can take a shot at that. I just, uh, just I don't want to lie to you. Make it happen. Okay? Well, I'll be honest. Um, there's a lot in this movie, and I don't. I have to fit in as much as I possibly can. And it's getting longer and longer by the day, and I'm afraid that I might have to make compromises. But, but, but I'm gonna be a part of this you, movie. Of course. You have old school. Game. Everyone else lost scenes, not just you. Mm. Good, good, good. What's your name? Chen. Chang? No, we don't feel safe in your hands, Chang. Have you met Chang? David? Hi, Chang. Hi. What? Yeah. What the fuck just happened? Good performance? Where? So, Where? You just fucking slapped me. Today? I was trying to get you fired up, to get you into focus, to get you, you know. Yeah, and then you took my monologue. You want to do another one? You can do another take. I thought it was good. I, I like the way you gave it. If you want that, sure. But I like the way you gave it. You know, I, I felt like I, I got out of you when I when I did that. I got you fired up. I saw the emotion come out of you. The way you know, David. Mm -hmm. In the future, mm -hmm. you run these things by my agents. Mm -hmm. Sure. Because this is not okay. Yeah. There are people I let slap. Mm -hmm. You and I, we are not there yet. Okay. Do we understand it, sir? That was off color of me, and Good. I apologize. Yeah. Great. Um, we'll solve this. Yeah. We'll get through this together, okay? Of course we will. We're doing great. No, I mean, we can. He has a great plan. I trust him. I trust him. You're totally fucking dying to get in here, so welcome. Can you believe he gets snappy with me? Like, yeah, of course I fucking slapped him. Did you see how he was behaving? He, he had so long to learn these lines and he couldn't fucking do it. Are you fucking me? Jesus fucking Christ. Then he comes up to me and like, Loki threatens me. What the fuck was he gonna do really, right? Was he gonna fucking punch me in front of everyone? Children. These are children. 
They're attention hungry grabbing children that no matter what you do will never be satisfied and they all want it. And it's not just them, the Satis, they're the extras, everyone fucking wants to be the fucking star of everything here. They don't understand there's a system and a way things work. Clearly, I, I thought that the, uh, the, the adult side of the film industry would be better than the indie scene. But indie scene is better. The indie scene at least has control. They're wholesome people that do it out of kindness and, and willingness to be in film. Then you deal with these garbage beings that are just horrendous, disgusting monstrosities that of course the media doesn't fucking capture because it's all, you know, fine and dandy in the papers. It's all about their niceness and kindness and look, he donated to a puppy shelter or whatever the fuck. And then they go home and, you know, what the fuck, they pull shit like that, you know, going through a fucking ugly divorce like Sasha is, have his fucking wife come fucking knocking at my door. How fucking awkward would that be if he fucking knew that shit, right? I fucking be... Don't put that in here. We're cutting that out of this documentary, as we've said. That's not going to be in there. I came back two days ago. I was in Romania. Do you know what I was doing there? You want to know what I was doing there? Often wonder what was the true cause of the dislike between Paulie and David. What could have happened to drive two friends to extremes? I've tried unsuccessfully, but maybe one day we'll get the answer. Now it was time for the reshoots. There was something poetic about seeing everyone dressed like they were on the first day, like it was all coming in full circle. Although, I feel like David had definitely lost some of the magic. Not that I can say that he knew what he was doing half the time, but it felt like, like he didn't care as much anymore. He was inconsistent with his props, angles, and, and actors were, it was all evident. Well, this is the place, uh, One Crow World. I've seen better days. Definitely seen better days. Film and spilling Pogor. Let's go, I guess. Hey, David. How's it going? What? What the fuck is this? Is this for a scene or something? Because, yeah, I mean, uh, funny is not this funny. No, no, it's, uh... Didn't, didn't you get the memo uh, last day of shooting? I was in the back, rehearsing my lines. Uh, you know, final, final day. And um, I don't know why, some, someone had rigged the lights wrong and it fell, fell, fell on me. Uh, so this, this is it. Dennis, uh, okay. Um, I don't know how to put this the nicest way possible, but uh, we're here for reshoots, meaning that you can be fucking crippled, Dennis. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can put it away f for the scene. Look, look. Wow. I can you, do this. Yes, you can. Thank you, Dennis. Don't get the Jesus fucking Christ. Humiliating. Yeah, it's, it's, fucking it's, humiliating. Uh, it's, it's a. Uh, I don't see, I don't see Cors Corsese dealing with this. This is fucking humiliating. What? Uh, I, I think, uh, I think my line is. Uh, I don't, Dennis, you should know your lines. Don't ask me. Go. Dave, did you just chill him out for? For the crutch. Hey. hey! Good to see you. Do you really think that if you if uh, 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 if someone showed up like that to your scene? What the hell is this? What is he doing? What is he doing? He didn't choose that. He didn't choose that, but why was he doing? Well, what uh, what the f just go easy on him, okay? Jesus. Although between you and me I think Sasha rigged the lights that day. Hey man. Good to see you. Well, I mean, if we get hurt. We make, oh, we, we handle it. What? We have stunt doubles. Oh, jeez. Just have the stunt double do the walking scene and then sit him down. Like CGI his face if you have to. We handle it. We're here to get things done. I'm just saying, it's a little suspicious.
<clears throat> you guys know your lines, please? Uh, not like we haven't done this once before, so I hope you do. Yeah. Yeah, of course. You guys remember Adam? Yeah. Good. Uh, thank you for today, Adam. Uh, Welcome to the group. Uh, no, he's been here for a while, but that's fine. Uh, this yeah, is, thanks a lot. This is my um, second command right now, so. Um, yeah. yeah, that's right. It's okay. Let's try to rehearse your lines. Just, you know, make sure you got it. No one wants to be here any more than we have to, so we can all fucking go home. Um, we got, let's see, what is today? We got about a month left, run the pickups, and then we're done, and then that'll be it. We will, uh, we will not be doing any uh, press for this movie because the press has already spread enough, it is known enough, and I personally feel like there's no point. Um, if you personally, we already, you know, did a few press releases before this, we will, you know, show up at the premiere, do that, uh, that you know, I think that's enough. That was, uh, that was the, the worst inspiring speech I've ever heard of. Okay, well, you know what, by the end of the day, you're the fucking actor here, so it's your job to do those well, so. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. That's what we need. Yeah. Wow. That's what we need. Positive. Yeah. Positive. Yeah. Positive. Yeah. Let's yeah. do this. Oh, I've never heard about such an in my entire life. That sounds like a strange thing you just figured out. Okay. Oh, you know what? Hey. Look who's here. Um, just give me a call. So, um, seems in order. I release practicing. We have an exterior shot of uh, Dennis. Dennis? No, no, no. What did the fuck you say about the poops? No. Ow! Oh, you fucking sit down. Ow! Oh, I was just looking. I was just no. Going. So then we have we have Dennis and we have Navi outside, Ow. and they're going to see them drinking. Then we have. Does anybody care what reality is? Oh yes, who was supposed to say that? Does anybody care what reality is? Charles, yours. Yeah, sorry. Yes. Yeah. Uh, does anybody care what reality is anymore? Does anybody care what reality is anymore? Mm -hmm. Then I guess they'd be supposed to go to a window, but we already. Uh, yeah, where window. should I go? So I guess. Thank you. Uh, I guess you can go Maybe to. Maybe to the mirror. Oh, like you're looking into yourself. Yeah. All right, that's good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yes. well, that's good. Okay. Uh, I guess practice those lines in the meantime. Oh, or that, I guess. Um, that's nice. Yeah. Uh. Felt, felt, felt good, right? Yeah. Felt pretty nice. Think so? I, th I think so. I think, hmm? I think so. Yeah. yeah. You're fantastic. Oh, thank you. Wow, I appreciate that. Thank you. Behave, will you? I'm sorry, brother. Drinking is bad, but feelings are worse. Brother. Do not fuck this up for me, okay? They can't hide it from us. If what they feel is true, that is. Now let's go in there. Make your fucking scene. Let's go. Hello, old chum. Hello, Debbie. You're still living in your fantasy, I see. Fantasies are nice, Nicholas, but you can't live in them. Hmm. Charles, why? Charles? Look at me, Charles. You think he's abandoned you? 
Hmm? By sending you sufferings, by keeping you there. <laughs> You're not gonna get away with what you've done. You're gonna die because of what you've done. You understand me? You're gonna die. <laughs> I, I hate to break up such a sexually intense moment, but I thought I'd recognize you, good sir. I, uh, apparently not. But I find you inspiring. Really. You have love in you. I know you do. When I'm with you, I forget everything. But aren't we all just leading the lives we're meant to? I say treat the world the way it deserves to be treated. Circumstance. Dust in the wind. Mishaps. There are no principles. Charles, only the inevitable doom of death. But is anyone really, truly interested anymore in the real world, in reality? I cannot believe you're actually defending the fucking script. It's not a masterpiece, it's not Shakespeare, it's fucking David's uh, Comstain, is what it is. I'm not defending the script, but you don't change the script when you're doing pickup. If the script is shit, you have to make it work. Dennis, Dennis should have some moment to shine. He should have his, his, his you know, moment to shine. Oh, really? When, when, really? really? When? Well, he, he had that part, you know, and when we were... Really, Sasha, which part are you referring to right now? The part where he was uh, briefly uh, mentioned in one scene and in the other scene he had a fucking ski mask on? No, I, no I mean, the, the movie. you know, the uh, who wants sushi scene, you know? The, the one line? Who wants yeah, sushi? But it was a big I, I, line. I, 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 I wouldn't mind more, more lines, you know? We're doing pickups and we can't really just change stuff around because we've already filmed this one. Yeah, but we're doing pickups because they didn't work the first time, so we can change it. That's the point of pickups. What the fuck is this amateur hour? What if we, you wrote the script, dude? You, no. oh. I didn't write the script. Don't well, you know anything? So why are you defending it? Like because it's your baby. Why, why, it's, it's, what changed you me? Do? Uh, okay. What would you do then? What do you want? What, do you I, what I'm what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, we don't have to change the script so much. We can just give some lines, some of David. We give some of Sasha's lines to Dennis. Uh, to or we give some of your lines in that case. That's a, that's a brilliant idea. But how about we give both of your lines to Dennis in the scene? I mean, it's, you know, really? I think he could probably do a good job. So how about we take yeah, yeah, your yeah. scenes and your scenes and we give them to Dennis, right? I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, if it's all right with you guys, I mean, it's I, I mean, they want for me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, the director. Great. So I we can do it with uh, Dennis. You know, the lines you can. Yeah. I guess we can have the final thing. We can. Um, you had that assistant director shit. I was definitely. See, see, play nice. Play nice. Wonderful. That's right. We're meant for greater things. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I think I think this is gonna work out. Thank you. Thank you for giving me more lines. You I deserve it. Yeah, you do. I do. Yeah. yeah. yeah actually. You're a wonderful, beautiful <laughs> young man, and this is the last day. You deserve it. Okay. Thank you. Did she just come on to the strip? Did she come on to you? I don't know. A little bit. Rebecca, I don't think maybe. you had it in you. Yeah. Wrong oh, place, wrong time. Like, just look at him. I mean, I, I like the next He's an amazing guy. What? Hey okay, guys, let's, let's just stick to the lines. Let's be professional. Yeah. Alright, mind of a 13. Oh, but seriously, good, good luck with that, man. Good luck. You okay. deserve it. Thank you. Now then, I'll see you off. Goodbye, pleasure, sorry. Thank you for today. Um, yeah, I, for this time. No, 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 no. Uh, I'll uh, see you guys uh, next week. Good, wow. Good job, bro. Neat, yeah. Great. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. I mean, you guys are going together. I don't know why they're hugging. Okay, well, you guys are kind of going together, so it's a bit weird. Yeah, maybe we oh, just want to hug. We'll keep in touch. Yeah, oh. yeah. Just uh, if you have another bye bye. documentary. Bye bye. bye, -bye. I'll, uh, I'll send you my, my agent's number. Just. Thank you. Are you not going, Dennis? 
Uh, I was thinking, you know, the, the, this coat? Yeah. Could I, could I bring it with me? I mean, it's technically one of the prop ones, so no. Oh, because I didn't bring... Yeah, you should have thought about yeah. that, buddy. I guess so. Yeah, you you get out of here, little scamp. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Up, up, up. There you go. Look at it, champ. You'll do good. Yeah, yeah. thank yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, good day. Th thanks for the lines. Yeah, dude. Uh, uh, good yeah. job. Uh, very proud. Yeah. Give me a call. Yeah. Bye, yeah. 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 guys. Uh, see you later. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. This is your class, right? Uh, yeah. No, that one over there. This this one. That's the one. Yeah. That's cool. Thank you. At least it's nice to have one competent person around, so that's nice to be respected. What the fuck am I gonna do with this? Oh, he forgot this. <laughs> I sometimes wonder, why would someone that had so much money at his disposal decide to spend the bare minimum whilst shooting? Maybe it was because he felt at home, as if he was working out on his indie movies. In the beginning, I suspect that he didn't know any better about getting the crew and equipment. But I believe that the aggressive nature that he was confronted with turned him off the idea. I suppose it was his way of keeping some level of control. I feel like if I was in his position and had 50 plus hours of footage to comb through by myself, I might have gotten insane. It's clear that he did go through plenty of grief, and what was left was acceptance. After a few months of David locked away, the release date was coming in a hurry. David had come up with a cut that he was happy with, or at least content with. Before sending it to the studio for polishing and packaging, David got a visit from a dear old friend. Alright, how does it feel to be back then? Yeah, it's fine, it's good. Is it? Yeah, I mean, it's good hearing about all the, all the stuff going on, you know, like big projects and stuff like that, you know, it's just... Good news and everything. Yeah, I'm glad uh, you think so. How's life? Good as well. You know, I'm studying, so like I'm getting more used to the big, you know, the big party stuff. You know, I'm getting, you know, some to become like I guess, you know, taking care of big productions. You know, mm, so that's cool. I could have something to learn from you. I mean, you have experience from it. So I mean, it's you know, it's whatever. I mean, uh, you know, is it fun? I mean, people seem to think it's good and whatever. So and how the actors? How you know? Like, yeah. Good. It's okay. It could be better. I see. Um, yeah, we're working with Dennis, right? Yeah, the comedian guy. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really make sense for the movie, though, right? I, I mean, mean it's just, you, I mean, I've seen a little bit of the scripts. I've seen. It was just. It was out. just. It was just. It was just producers. We were like, oh, no, I see. yeah. That, that's what I'm worried about. You know, make if once I get to that level, it's like you know, them forcing some like completely different thing you know that was the only one thing uh, that really got pushed down my throat and i think it'll work fine you can't cut him up I'm, i mean i mean now i'm seeing the footage no but, but uh i'm guessing it's, I'm, it's all right whatever i mean he's there i did it i mean i think it works mm. so um i mean honestly it's compromise sometimes you got to make a bad movie so you can make the movie you want to make Sometimes, I mean, right? Are you, you calling this you, a bad movie? No, no, I'm saying that sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you gotta make a bad thing to make a good thing. That's the best way I can put it, because well, uh, he but thinks... Show me, show me your vision. I wanna, you know, think high top, so I don't wanna see Alright, you saw the trailer, right? Yeah, I've seen some of it. I think you saw, uh, yeah, like some, like, teaser, right? like a minute thing. Yeah. I didn't, oh. mm, I mean, I... I kind of don't really get the like uh, the plot, but I mean, it looks cool. Because you know how it's, you know, I prefer also not having any no spoilers, so it makes sense that it doesn't make sense, you know, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay, man. The same one. The, the 
this one better. Ain't no mountain high. Ain't no valley low. Keep me from getting into Yeah, so there's some of the cuts there. Uh, okay, yeah. so... Uh, I mean, on, I mean, Dennis I mean, wasn't as bad as I thought he was. Yeah, I mean, it, I think he did... Uh, it was all right there, you know? So, uh, it was good to the theme. It's like a dramatic scene, right? Uh, yeah. And telling, like, his dark secrets. Yeah, yeah. I guess his father died, or... Uh, yeah, it's earlier uh, in the movie. Like, this will be even more of a bigger emotional impact. Yeah. It's like yeah. a plot twist, yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah, and, you know, the... It's like the Luke, you know, I am your father type thing. And this uh, this year, I mean, is this for like a behind the scenes? Uh, thing or, I mean, yeah, they're kind of following me a little bit constantly. Should I write any contract or like, I mean, I'm fine with them having me in it, but I'm just wondering. Yeesh, I'm, I'm like, sure it's a big production. I'm, I'm sure they reach out, don't worry. Uh, You'll get a paper. Yeah, but, hi, by the way, and then I haven't really talked to you. I mean, you've just been here, so... Do you talk like you're supposed to say hi to them, or do you say? Like, I don't know. I just kind of ignore it. To be honest, it's been a few months of that, so I see. Yeah. <clears throat> I think you get the scene. This is like the. Is this the final cut, or can you still, like make changes to it? Is this set in stone? I mean, it's yeah, it's kind of done. Mm, okay. I mean, it's not bad though. I mean, uh, mm. but are you sure you can like? There's nothing you want to change to it. I mean, I mean, are you happy with it? I it. I mean, I mean, it's it's done. I mean, is it bad or? No, no, no. It's not bad. I'm I'm just you know wondering if it's this is really. I mean, it's really what you're going for. Like, is this the final edit of it? I'm just. I mean, I'm. I think it. Uh, I think it's gonna have to be. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Like, that's okay. You know, I'm not saying it's bad. Right? Okay. Yeah, I'm just, you cool. know, yeah, yeah, making yeah, sure yeah, that yeah, you yeah, also yeah, feel yeah. happy. No, 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 no. I get it. I get it. it. No, I completely understand. Yeah. Yeah. The rap parties and I gotta plan it. I just have no time. I mean, this is just one of the many movies you're making, right? Yeah. So I mean, like after right. this one, you know, keep grinding, and we'll you know we'll get to that masterpiece, right? Sure. I mean, or is the this is the masterpiece? Quite simply, I think he needed a break. He had definitely taken some in the middle of the production. Everyone had when it was needed. David would spend those working, if not traveling to his home country of Romania. Clearly something else was going on, and I couldn't quite figure it out. He would always leave before we were able to catch wind of it. But this time, we were ready. So what does David do when he's home? Long needed rest? Visiting family and friends? Going on a drinking bender? Or simply stare at a white wall?
Well, does anyone actually believe this bullshit with like the documentary team? Because you're trying to make it like a movie because you guys think you're all clever and shit. But everyone knows the documentary team clearly is in the guy's house and has obviously made the guy walk through that door like six times. It's not, you're not, and no one's believing it. Do you not have that moment when you're watching the documentary? You're just like, this is fake. This isn't a movie because the guy's talking about real objects, but they film it as this is a movie. Why? Why do you do this? Why do you think it makes it more interesting? It would have just made as much more sense if you watch me go up the stairs and open the goddamn door for the first time and do this fucking bullshit. Christ. This is it. The old uh, Nikolai household. Uh, Artists come from this house. Grandpa was a um, caricature, caricature, you know, like the mocking drawings. Uh, during communism, dude would like make jokes, write strips about it. Um, would always have his uh, daughters, my mom and my aunt, look at them and uh, ask them if they got the joke. And if they said no, he'd just like throw it away. And they'd be like, no, it was a really good drawing. You know, it's like, it's like I just didn't get it. And he's like, oh, I don't care. Uh, if a child can get it, then an adult should be able to get it. It's Everyone should get it, he, he said. He still had to be clever, so, you know. You can't just outright say the stuff you want to say, but, you know. I think uh, Grandma did this stone thing. I think it was her. Or Grandpa. I forget. I think it was Grandpa, actually. Oh, I don't know. I always find it weird. It's like this weird snake creature. And this always pissed me off. There's like one stone that isn't connected to the whole thing. It's just there. Was there not a stone here at some point? What happened? Why did no one removed it since? That like, this doesn't... I don't get it. You know it's not. Oh shit! You know it's not. Oh, it's not every guy that gets to <clears throat> do weed with his drug dealer. So I really appreciate that. I think we have a good relationship. <clears throat> are you, are you recording? Okay, for a second it looked like you were recording for fun or something. Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, never mind. I was doing a movie called um, A Long Crow World. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Got some big boy names in there. Sasha Yutishkug. Yutishkug. He he's done some stuff. Um Navid Gar Kapoor or I don't know what's his name. He he does like Westerns in Italy or some shit. And then there's like a, com a comedy boy. Dennis Dennis Conway. There's no fucking way you know Dennis out of everyone in of the world. Of course I know Dennis Conway. That's ridiculous. He's some two big comedian. What are you see? Oh my god. You know Dennis? Jesus Christ. Okay, you know what? Good for the guy. Uh, and then there's uh, Rebecca. Uh, she does like stage play. I don't. Should I have heard of the rest of them? I don't know. Do you not watch your drug? Do you not watch movies? Or... Oh yeah, dude. I watch all the Con Dennis Conway stuff. Yeah, oh, I just haven't he he heard of the rest of these people. Okay, one of them is like a theater bitch, so whatever. And then the other two I are like. I go to the theater. Well, okay. Just because no. I'm a drug dealer, I don't go to the theater. Is that what you're trying to say? No, I mean you're British, so you must go to the theater. But I was born in the theater. <laughs> okay, well that's nice. Was your family like? Carnies or yeah, drug dealers. Okay, in the theater, I guess they have they've... quite an ingrained class system in Britain, and that means that you know, once a drug dealer, always drug dealer. Sure, totally understand. My grandfather was a medicinal merchant. Have you heard of a guy named Weinstein? No. The movie can be done, and you can still be fucked, mate. Oh. Wow. <sighs> Look, man, I'm trying to be in control. I'm just some dude that just got lucky and just got a movie in his lap, right? This is this is my first day on the so job. He's in charge of the production. But I'm doing my best, okay? I, when I'm not busy, you know, touring my hair out because these assholes are asking me to do work that I wasn't 
part of what my work was supposed to be because they all expect that the director means the emperor of the universe to them. You know, this is the thing. You know, everyone wants to be the fucking limelight. They want to be the fucking hot shit, the, big, the, the next big boy out there and whatever your market is. May it be fucking wind sailing or rapping. I guess you want to be like Biggie. I don't know. Uh, or, or, you know, it's like, I'm just trying to say a thing here, dude. So don't worry about it. I'm... <laughs> I'm saying, so, so, you know, everyone thinks it's the best fucking thing in the world, oh, you get to make your movies, oh, you fucking climb the top or whatever, you fucking, you know, white boy, whatever the fuck, and by the way, I'll just say it, you know, straight up, straight up, everyone that's ever been in this situation, you know, all those big boys out there making movies, they've all been at this point, I'm sure of it, they had that point where they realized, oh, fuck, I don't know what the fuck is happening and what I'm doing, and you know what, I'm just some YouTube sure. smuck that got lucky, that, that's the no one will admit, they're just some schmuck that got lucky because guess what there's people that have put just as so much effort time and care into their project what's the difference between them and the ones that made it they got fucking lucky no one's willing to admit that I am I got fucking lucky I wouldn't be making this if I didn't because if you've got here realize people helped you get there you got there good and you also got lucky Because there's motherfuckers that work just as hard as you did to get what you got. And I'm willing to admit that. But all these other fuckers on the set I'm working with, they're not like that. They're all, they're all, they all just assume these fucking, their fucking amazing charisma and, and godlike personality got them worried then. You know, it's like, no, you got fucking lucky. So, you know what my fucking closing words are to you, your honor? Yeah, it's fucking right. Hi, Dave. You know, it's been a few weeks of break now from filming, and uh, I've done some thinking. And, well, as you know, we've had our spats, you and I, and you and Sasha, and me and Sasha, and, well, uh, everyone and Sasha. And, you know, it's it's been rough, uh, Dave, I'm not gonna lie, because... I came home and I just found myself releasing all this pent-up negativity I'd accumulated by working with you. I released it all upon my family and friends and it came to a boiling point where I just, I, I called out for my dog, Dave, and I've had this dog since I was 25 years old, Dave, 25 years old. Usually, you know, he comes, he's happy to see me, you know, he can't wait for me to come home, but... He didn't come, he didn't come, Dave. <laughs> I, I, I promised myself I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cry, Dave, I wouldn't cry, but... Like a vacation. Like any vacation, uh, you relax, you take calm, you uh, enjoy yourself, and uh, just re recharge, you know. Ja, två månader är lång tid, så jag tror alla har gått vidare lite med sina liv. Suffice to say, um, we don't have the best working relationship on set, so uh, reaching the end of this production. It's gonna feel a bit sad, but also a bit of a relief, I think. Even om det har varit en massa dilemma under vägens gång, så tror jag ändå att jag har stärkt oss och fått oss att utmana varandra. We're gonna be able to move on, all of us, and hopefully never see each other again. What I'm saying is. I want us to start over, Dave. I want us, everybody, 
Sasha included, I want us to turn the page and replace this toxic energy with something more productive. Do not forget that we have to do a press tour after this, okay? We're gonna have to sit next to each other, me, you, Sasha, Dennis, Rebecca, everybody's gonna have to sit next to each other, be all smiles and hugs, and tell the press what they wanna hear, okay? I hope this stuff doesn't get out there because uh, I know I messed up. I had too much to drink. I just hope they're able to save it in editing because frankly I'm ashamed of the way I acted. I shouldn't have. Yeah, I haven't seen him so full before. Han är väl stressad eller något. You know, you get to this point where where people have been walking all over you. And then you reach this point where you can't take it anymore and so you you act out in ways that that go against all rationality. Ja. Eh det blev väl kanske lite stelt. Jag vet inte vad han höll på med riktigt, men... Ja, uh, han klarar sig nog. And I hope I didn't make anyone else uncomfortable. I just... I hope we can bounce back. I hope we can bounce back. I truly hope he found some degree of peace in the storm that he had turned his life into. I did not know about his father's passing. It probably did affect his behavior and his actions in and around the movie. But with everything else that was happening, it's hard to tell. Reflecting back, this was what he was telling his mother about in the second chapter. I feel like it was a very important detour. It doesn't have the flash and extravaganza like we're used to seeing, but it does matter as one of the many pieces of the puzzle. Like I said back at the beginning, it's important to reflect on all the reasons for how and why in the end, this is a reminder that at the center of it all, all we started with were a thespian, two actors, a comedian, and a director. I wonder, as I have many times throughout this journey, ultimately nothing as important as, how is it all going to end? Not the movie, of course. We all know how that was going to turn out. No, the relationship of our dysfunctional family was what had me on the edge of my seat. Is it weird that I was hoping for a happy ending? I mean, it's kind of like spending time with an abuser. You know you could do better. You know you deserve better. But you spend so much time there that you almost don't want to feel like it was all for nothing. Like it was all in vain. I wonder if that's how they felt about each other. They all deserve better than each other. You hope that at some point they would manage to see past each other's shells and help each other grow rather than to tear each other down. Maybe they were unwilling or incapable of doing so. I think this here, one of their last meetings, speaks for itself. So what, like, what's this project about? Like, you know, it's about, um, it's a biopic mm. about an arm mm. wrestler, right? An arm wrestling champion. Okay. But I don't play him once he's a champion or I play him up until he's a champion. Okay. But he's he's Canadian. He's ex special forces. His name is Devin Larry. Oh. What, what about you like? What are you doing? Uh, I've been doing some uh, theater. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Recently, uh, Shakespeare, Midsummer Night's Dream. So I've really tried to uh, 
take a page out of your book of you know trying to get into the mindset of mm. what it takes to be an arm yeah. wrestling champ yeah. you know so i've been doing a lot of uh, uh wrist exercises it was for charity actually so yeah i, I used to do min midnights summer dream in, in school as well I, so, yeah so i kind of know it's such you know? a great yeah. play so yeah, i don't know if i should have written this so uh anyways uh, we're flying away to dubai uh in like a week uh, we're gonna start on the next um ghost protocol movie Oh, the, yeah. the Ghost Protocol? Yeah, yeah. All oh, right. Like, not, it's not a super big deal. I'm like the, uh, the secondary antagonist, you know, like the, uh, the backup dude for the main. Uh, oh, main okay. Yeah. Like, like a henchman sort of. Uh... Uh, not, not like fully. Like, sure, yeah. Yeah, he's a henchman. But like, you know, he's the kind of guy who, who gets things done. Mm. And then the main antagonist is the guy who like calls the shots. The pretty face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I played Hermia and uh, it was uh, it was so fun. Uh, uh -huh. I really like theater because it's like it's so magical, you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's, it brings so much joy and oh, yeah, a lot, happiness, a lot, a lot and, of nostalgia and stuff and, like that. Uh, yeah. And hope it brings yeah. so much hope yeah. to people. Yeah, 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 I get that. I get that. So, yeah. so yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, you got to have your elbow tucked inside of your body, like not out here, in here. So, like not like that straight straight as as you usually do but just as far as you can go inside your chest right okay because this protects the elbow joint from overextension it's gonna be weird to not see you anymore after this oh yeah but uh i think i've got a good feeling about it well we'll see i guess yeah i appreciate that i got more lines um yeah yeah i read i, I so read glad for you i read the script uh, our hands need to be in the middle of the table, right? So okay. you, you need to get a little bit more forward with your body. So if it's easier, you can sit on the ground as well. Yeah. So you don't have that awkward. Yeah. So in the middle of the table, that's a fair start, right? Mm -hmm. You give your goal oh, whatever lunch you have. Did you know? Um, actually, I'm. do you remember Inka, my boyfriend? I do remember him, yeah. Well, I'm planning to propose to him. Re really? Yes. Oh, oh. We've been together for five years. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, th I think it's time then, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. I've been planning uh, for some weeks now, and I, now I'm starting to feel ready. So oh, wow, wow, wow. I'm so nervous. Yeah, oh, I get that, but I think it's going to be fine. Like five years. Five years is a long time, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I know that he's like the one for me. Like he's oh, so yeah. calm and he's so, so nice, and and uh, he really supports me. And oh, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, best of luck to you, best of luck to you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have any final thoughts, uh, just general thoughts about, about, about this movie production? Mm -hmm. Can I take it in Swedish again? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Jag tycker ändå att jag har försökt skapa bra stämning, försökt hålla positiviteten uppe och försökt göra det bästa av situationen. Alla är ju väldigt speciella och unika på sitt sätt och har sina fördelar och nackdelar. Mm. Vi kanske ses igen, det vet mm. man aldrig. Mm. Men jag hoppas verkligen att vi i alla fall kan gå härifrån med en god stämning mellan oss. You know, shit. So, uh, yeah. Hey, Rebecca. Yeah. Uh, Looking for more wine. Well, no. Oh. You uh, know, it's yeah, no. somewhere around maybe in this uh, fridge oh, right yeah. here. I think. Uh, oh, that was the freezer. Oh. Right here, we have some wine. Oh, great. Knock yourself out. Oh, jag tyckte det var skönt att ha den här wrap partyn för att få ett sista bra avslut. I wouldn't call it a sex film. Hey, hey, Dave. Hey, how you doing? Doing good. Yeah, pretty neat. Oh. Is that a new cologne, Dave? Do you have a new cologne or something that smells a little... Oh yeah, it's uh, mm. Armani. Oh really? Yeah. Or, where are the money? Oh, that was <laughs> a bad joke. I mean, hey, you're welcome for the payday, am I right? Yeah, I guess. No. Yeah. Thanks. So, uh, what's next for you, Dave? Like this. Who knows? Not a movie, maybe take a break. Yeah, and then, you know, break. taking, mm. Same. yeah, take oh, break. breaks are great to take, yeah. man, you know, um, everyone needs a break some mm. point, you know, I agree, like, I agree, I agree, you settle down, mm. maybe, maybe you find some, something else to do, just, you know, mm. 
I mean, you, you sort of look like you've had a break for quite a while, but you know, maybe you need some more time to cool off and recuperate your senses, right? <laughs> I don't want to necessarily call it a break, but a... Um, like you've been editing. I have most certainly been editing because I don't trust anyone else with this movie. Uh, so yes, I have been uh, by hand putting my sweat, blood and tears into this, so... Oh yeah, we can tell. Mm. Yeah. We can tell. Yeah. yeah. So, so hey, Den Dennis, Dennis, what? come over here, man. Sorry. Listen, yeah. I, um, I wanted to ask you guys, like, uh, have you guys been in touch during this hiatus or something? Feels like you guys have something, you know, brewing. I don't know. Do we need to have this conversation now? I, I feel like uh, him and I, we've been talking a little bit, I feel like... We kinda, we, I kind of got my point across, I think. Mm -hmm. I well, you, guys have, you guys have hashed it out already. Oh yeah? Yeah, you're fine? Uh, I, I feel fine, yes, I hope. Yeah, I'm sure you do. What? Are you guys pulling a prank on me? No, I was are standing you, in the fucking hallway. Are you pulling a prank on me? Exactly. The behavior on set that you and uh, everyone else exhibited, um, mm -hmm. rather unacceptable, if mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I came there expecting a professional uh, movie set. Mm -hmm. I did not get that. I got mm -hmm. a, a lot of um, moments that w w where I felt ignored. I felt um, overshadowed. I, I, I did not feel like I was being taken seriously. And I'm a serious actor. I'm fine too. I'm glad. Just saying, I feel fine. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing fine. Because it sort of feels no. like you know I, we want to have a good time. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to have a good time. I, mean, I, I kind of hope that this party was a little bit of a goodbye of everyone. No, we started okay. this journey together, and I hope Definitely that we could goodbye. at least end it on a. No, oh, definitely a good friendship. Yeah, yeah that's a good Next time we'll see each other, we'll be at the premiere, and then uh, who knows? Oh, yeah, Maybe on an interview or something on a show. Oh, you got to fire. I mean, we're gunning for, for awards, uh, right? We're yes. Doing that. Uh, we're obviously yeah, playing with the Oscars. Uh, rumor mill is probably bait. what we could expect as best picture, best lead, uh, female lead. Yeah. Um, and then. Uh... There have been a lot of. Um... Conflicting feelings, I'll say that much. Um, I feel like David has, uh, well, not just David, but, but, but the entire crew have really um, taken advantage of not only me, but a lot of the other cast and crew. Just know that you've made an impression mm -hmm. that I will never forget. And, you know, when, when the movie sort of blows up mm -hmm. and everything goes a little viral, hopefully, uh -huh. maybe people will find out about, you know, what it's like to be on a movie yeah. set with personalities like yours and it's, it's, Sasha's yeah. and you know mm. mine. Mm. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. 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 Is that uh, coffee? Oh, it's definitely coffee. Definitely coffee. What the fuck is the direction of this scene? Where is my character supposed to go? It doesn't smell like coffee. Well, it's a special, special brand of coffee. Ah. You, you wouldn't know it. When I asked you about it, because I did ask you about it when we were trying to... There has been a lot of, uh... There's been a... There's been a lot of turmoil... ...on set, and... I'm sorry, but... It's, uh, yeah, I, 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 I wish everyone the best, right? Oh, hey. Oh, hey, man. Good stuff. Good stuff, yeah. Mm. Yeah. How you doing, man? Um, I'm doing fine. Thank you. Uh, how are you? How are you holding up? It is what it is, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's been it's been rough, rough time. Yeah, yeah, it's been. Rough. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe you should, uh, you know, take some water. Maybe. Maybe. Just you know. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of evening left, you know. So so, yeah. Uh, good seeing you, man. So how are you doing, Rebecca? I'm doing good. Yeah? You look good. You look great. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, so, um, how are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I, uh, I have some exciting things coming up. 
you know, it's an exciting project. It's going to be good, actually. I don't know how you feel, but it's going to be good moving on from this. It's, a bit, it's been a learning experience for me, I think. It's uh, a lot of things have happened. I have been forced to get to know myself as an actor and as a man and uh, I had to face some truths, you know. Uh, all in all, I would say, you know, I'll be honest with you, it, it hasn't all been sunshine and rainbows. If, if things play out well tonight, I'm going to actually challenge uh, Dave and Sasha to arm wrestling because they need to be. Dave and Sasha? Yeah, they need to be taken down a peg, I think. Because they think really? that, you know, yeah, they're like, mm, so, I'm the big guy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to show them now. The show guy. them, yeah. Yeah. Life's too short, you know, life's too short to be mad. Life's too short to be uh, holding grudges, so I really want to just have a good time tonight. I want to make sure that we all part on some sort of positive note. Like, this would mean a lot to me. If you could, when we're doing the arm wrestling, could you like say something in the sense of like, damn Dave or Sasha, you're so weak, I thought you were strong, could you do that? Because just to get them a little riled up, you know? Yeah, sure. Could you do that? Yeah. We, we're done. Can we move on? You have to say something. Anything. I know what to tell you. I mean, my life's been going, going pretty good. Are you okay? Yeah. Of course. Feels like something's up. No. It's a movie. Go watch it. I know what else to tell you. No, but that sounds really fun. Yeah, that's what life is about. Just, just enjoy yourself. No, you don't, don't sweat things that you know shouldn't be sweat about. You know. Uh, I would like to do more theater, but I have nothing planned. But Shakespeare is like the staple of an actor's career, I would say. That's really difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Sasha, you tried your hand at Shakespeare and, you know, it was not something you dwelled upon too long, was no. it? I moved beyond that stage. Things have been done, it's the experimental phase, you get to find yourself as an actor, then you move on. I feel like Shakespeare is like the most deepest, the most intelligent, Mm -hmm. I'm actually You're more with Rebecca, actually. yeah. The text in Shakespeare is so... It's brilliant. It's brilliant, and you, you shouldn't change it. Some scripts uh, you have to change as an actor because they just... They aren't true to the of feeling course. of the character or the of scene. Course. But you don't dare touch Shakespeare because no. that's sacred. No. Like, that's yeah. a staple of, of every actor's And it won't work. Why not change it? Why not? We, because we, it won't we work. We can do other things. And that's what Shakespeare is for as an actor nowadays. It is for you to try your hand at something. It is working with a hammer and nail in schools. Yeah, but the difference is that his imaginary words stuck with for like 400 years. Yeah, your imaginary no words are forgotten the moment you say them. Yeah. Therefore, it has cemented itself to have value. Like yeah, Shakespeare, it brings a lot of happiness and joy and so... Big jokes, right? Yeah, that's the thing. You're, you're the funny guy. Sound like an excuse. I'm a funny guy. I'm a funny guy. So you, know I have, you, you know what I have before coming here? Sushi. Oh, sushi, so right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be on all the posters. I mean, yes. You want some sushi? I'm not gonna be on all the posters, that's correct. That's my line. Yeah, there, there were some uh, some good lines. I, I get why Dennis would be upset if Rebecca were to uh, take one of those lines. That's something that you know hurts. Someone mm. just takes your, your line, your scene. Mm. Did, did someone steal your lines, big boy? Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it's <laughs> did someone yeah, steal your lines? So did someone get to show off their acting lines. chops? Huh? Well, I mean, I knew the line. I just, I did it better. Hey, I'm talking. I'm talking. Oh, it's not like, of course, yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. David felt like it was. Are any of you paying attention to what I'm saying? The words that I'm saying? Well, I'm trying to listen. Like, yeah, sure, I'm sure, I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. Never have I ever gotten as big of a fucking paycheck than working on this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, this so. is so funny, man. Slurp, slurp. Yep. Yeah.
That, really, Dennis? Really? Please. I've gotten a pretty sweet check from the, the this production, but uh, it's not not the biggest. How much? Wow, not the yeah, biggest. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give Listen. me a number, then. If this isn't the how biggest. How much? No, no, shut up. Listen. What? Yeah. How, much? How, much? how much? How much? How much? How much? Well, the like, much you got for here? No, for, for this film. How for this much? Film. Six million. What did you say? Six million. Six million dollars. Six million. Wait, wait. Are yeah, oh, you sure. fucking no, serious? No, 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 no. no, six million dollars. Dave, what the fuck? We had to, uh, we had to... Where did you get this money? What, do you, you, you guys forget the fact that I'm being produced by the whole of Sweden? No. I would say it's a fresh wound, so to speak. Because uh, I've just found out what the others were paid. My agents lobbied for 20, but... Well, Dave, what the fuck? You told me we're all paid equal. I, that's, uh, that's so what I wanted. unfair. That was what equal? My, I mean, that's what my purpose was. The main character. And of course, he fought for it, so he was either trying. I guess that came up in conversation. I got 10,000 for this film. Others got. Now we, is that one and a half? Okay, million? okay. I, I, I don't have to, I, I don't have as big of a role as he does, but, but six million compared to ten. And that's. Fine, I guess. I guess. I guess my. I guess my name doesn't take in that much money, so. Producer Dave. assigns these numbers. Dave, Dave, I have to deal with the numbers I'm given and use them. I get it, but it, it is what it is, right? Yeah. The most I've gotten paid. Artist. Ten thousand. As much as. You know, it's it's like they always say. You know, never never reveal your paycheck, right? But. Uh, and I just say, uh, it's a bit fun that you say that my agent doesn't relent because uh, we were lobbying for 20 and uh, I did 6 as a, you know... You're such he a, did 20! If that's not a good deal, I don't know why it's... Have you ever been hey. to a marketplace? Have you ever hey. fucking hey. made on, business with anyone? Look out for most Kurt! He's a shit actor, man! You're gonna have to pay up some of yours! Wait, what? 1.5 million. Why is this so unfair? She's getting a... What am I getting? 10,000. You were getting 10,000 at least, I don't know what we did. It's not about the amount, it is about a hierarchy that exists. Oh a hierarchy God. of skill. Did you just fucking say that? Would you pay a painter the same as a toddler doing finger paints? Oh my lord. You have a long way to go, all of you. You're gonna do great. The thing and is, yes. I'm a bit further off. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do the Someone just the door. Bullshit, man. No, I just got the... Ghost you know, I... I like to do some research, right? I, I like to do some research about my, my co-stars. And Sasha, even during this production, is quite a big thing on the internet. Especially in Japan. I don't know if you guys know that, but... I, I, I sort of Google his name and, and stuff, and... There is a lot of lewd artwork done on Sasha. And especially from Japan and you know I myself I'm not so well versed in these things but I talked to Dennis about it quite recently and he's quite well versed in what they call hentai and Sasha let me tell you that Sasha is quite the hentai icon back there in Japan and I can understand why honestly because Dennis told me all the you know intricacies and stuff like that and Sasha has a face that really lends itself well to that sort of artistic depiction, right? So, whatever happens, I would say, Sasha, listen to me here. If you ever feel like you wanna push yourself creatively, just lean into that. Lean into the hentai Japan stuff because your face is just so well suited to that art form that it's crazy. I mean, I've seen you in situations involving, you know, octopuses, fucking foxtails, you name it, Sasha, and that's where you really can method act. You know, you know the way you could method act, Sasha? I'm sure they have like, you know, like the Oscars? I'm sure like they have a hentai award with like an octopus statue or something like that with eight arms. You could take that home because you're gonna win awards, dude. You know it, you're an award winner. You could take that statue home, invite your friends over to watch your greatest hentai hits, and you could recreate the best scenes you've ever done. Have you seen that there's a, there's like a, a web page where you can put a filter on your face and I actually out of curiosity just took a selfie Sasha sent to the production copy pasted it it didn't change a thing he looks like an anime character like he really does he's got them big doe eyes and you know the the face that just screams violate me it's just perfect perfect so yeah 
Next question. We know you had your big scandal. It's not that hard. Imagine that you could. I did not sexually harass that woman. No, I did not. Yeah, and then the guy said, like, why are you doing cocaine off my ass? Oh, shh. Listen, I'm sorry. I, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm very sorry. I mean, truth be told, it hasn't been all that bad. If I'm gonna be entirely honest. Well, it hasn't been all that bad, huh? It's a bit... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm just looking back with rosy-eyed <coughs> rosy glasses, but... At least at the start, it felt like we had something. Yeah. Somewhere. Good to hear, man. I just... I wanted to make the best I could, is just the simple answer. Yeah. Filming experience I've had. Speak for yourself, motherfucker. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty dumb, then. Mm. And there were, there were bright spots. What the fuck is this? Uh. Did you hook up with Ika? Um, that was, uh... What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm so very sorry. This is so oh, fucking I'm... disgusting! Are you gay? I'm bi, I suppose. Homosexuality is so fucking disgusting! Oh, Excuse me! Well, I'm very sorry, but I, I'm very sorry for what happened, but You're please listen. You're fucking slug. I understand, what? I understand you're upset. I'm so very sorry for what happened. Homosexuality should be... Should be fucking dead, you know that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't just That's go around taking saying it a little hey, far. Stop that um, shit. I get that you're upset. You. I'm very you sorry. Fucking bigot. I'm very sorry. Shut that up. Shut the fuck up. I love. Shut up. I what? love a homosexual hating woman. How fucking what? hot are you, Rebecca? God oh, damn, look about. at you. Who fucked who? Who fucked the guy here? Did what? you do that? Did you did you fuck his? Did you fuck her wife you or a man? Inca. You fucked. David. I was going to propose to him, okay? Mm. Clearly, you didn't know him that good, though, I guess. What? Oh, shit. I'm going to fucking kill you. I get that you're upset, but still. No, but I'm Sasha, sure. you can't rationalize away this. This man right here, this curly ass motherfucker, he fucked this woman's fiance. Is that okay? No, no not. of course not. It's horrifying. Of no course not. No one cares about your opinion, okay? What? Can you just shut up? I'm sorry? No one cares about my No one cares about your opinion. Hey, Missy, you know why you're here, right? Because you're a girl. No, I'm. Inclusivity. I'm here because I'm a good guys, actress. That, oh, good actress. You're actress. here because I don't fucking know Wait. because no one here likes you. Uh, I'm here. No one likes me. Sure. I'm here because I am a good actor. No, you, you're not. You're obviously not. Miss Basic Shakespeare bitch. Shame. <laughs> you're here for it. You're here because of the feminist don't agenda. Don't hear him. I hear him. I hear what you're saying. Oh yeah. Okay. This, this feels like a like if this was a character sheet right here, Sasha. This would mm. be your essence. You're an asshole, Sasha. You think you're better than I everyone else. That. Oh yes, Sasha. Exactly. Yes, you you're not. not. I don't think I'm better than, than anyone else. I'm better than you guys. Oh no. fuck you. Sir. I am beyond you. Six million. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. Yeah. For what do you deserve? For what have you, you done? You should get your goddamn hey, hand hey, tight hey. words somewhere else, motherfucker. No! Oi, motherfuckers! All of you have treated me like shit throughout the entire fucking shoot! All of you! You? You never took advantage of my talents! You? You treated me like shit! You? You've always treated me like shit! All of you! Okay, Dennis. Calm the no. Calm the fuck no, down, you charity the case no, of a performer. Do. Let the best you speak, Sasha. No. You, hey, you came here and you expect to be treated like some star. What have you done? You're a washed up comedian. You draw in like what? 200 people at most and you want a million. You're fucking worthless. I'm sorry. Fuck all of you. Okay. 
Denise. Okay. Denise. That was that was too much, man. That was, that was okay. way too much. Okay. Oh. That's that's all too much. Yeah. Luke is talking. Oh, shut up, David. Fuck you. S please. Don't even get me started. I, I'm, I'm tired of your. Down, come, come what? You walk come in every time. Walk down. His, his wife is having problems. If you decide to walk in there and burst the fires, her uh, her boyfriend comes in and, and is wearing there. You come in and burst in the fires. I come in on set and I happen to look the way I look. You come in and burst in the fires. You just you thrive on drama. No wonder you had to stand yeah. there. You love it. You That's get it. off on that shit. You <laughs> like it. You fucking like to fucking jizz in your own fucking yeah. career. Yeah. I try to calm shit down, calm Dave. Shit down. You're an instigator, Dave. Instigator. You, 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 you draw wedges between us. Me and Sasha, we'd have gone to find along if you weren't there to fucking fuck it up for I'm us. I'm sorry. You paid him six day. million for that what? For what? How oh, is it my fault, Sasha? I'm sorry. Ah, uh, Mister. You know, would you like to get paid less, Sasha? You're very welcome to tell me that, and we can even it out right now. If they want to be even, Steven, I can go hey, try to talk to you. It ain't about that. Dave. Oh, it's not about that. Hey, it ain't about that. It's, it's about the, the fact that you. Oh. Hmm. Yes. You just keep putting us against each other because you want the drama. <laughs> Yeah. You want yeah, to you agree? Talk, talk. Yes. You I really want. Talk, uh, talk. I want my first movie that's going to be important and international to be a fucking mistake. What mm -hmm. you want is mm -hmm. to be the top dog, right? Top you top grew up. Nobody saw you, David. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nobody acknowledged mm -hmm. you. You felt like you put in a lot of effort uh -huh. for a little reward, mm -hmm. right? You want more. You want uh -huh. to be seen. You want to be the big, big dick in the scene. Mm -hmm. But listen, Dave. Mm -hmm. Listen. Mm -hmm. You drive wedges between people. You don't build them up. And people. Don't appreciate that. Mm. No legends are built upon fucking people who break other people down. Because Sasha, sure, he has his thorns out, he has his, you know, uh, high horse bullshit sometimes. Oh. But I would have gone fine along with him if it weren't for you, David. Mm -hmm. And even Rebecca, fucking look at her. She's a nice girl. She's a good girl. She's a Christian background. And what did you do? You fucked her fiance. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? Why would you fucking fuck the only person who hasn't done anything to you this set? Why would okay, you fuck but David, how many people are you fucked? Come on. Well, listen, 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 listen. No, I would never fuck your, your wife. I would never fuck his How many wives have, have you fucked, though? You fucked quite a lot, I've heard. I didn't know those people. They didn't matter. They didn't matter because why? Because you just didn't know them, so therefore they don't matter? Of course. Oh, of course. They don't matter anyway. You, Fuck that. I listen. You're sitting here and saying that you're you, you, you're play, painting yourself as, as a sort of saint or the, the democratic angel coming here to, the, to 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 help us bring us together. And if it wasn't for me, it would have been the united force. Fuck you. For the very first day on set, you felt like you had to, uh, to match up to him just because you're so washed up used to be because first of your own mistakes. I never felt the need My to match ass. up to that guy. The very second never. you saw him, you're like, oh shit, better no. match up to this guy. No, 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 no. Because I'm someone that used to first be someone. First of all, first of all, I know, I know. Two things. I know two mm -hmm. things in this life. Yeah. I that know. You can never match up to me. <laughs> oh, very funny. <laughs> Who's the comedian? Is it Dennis or is it this motherfucker? I don't know. No, no, you're not taking my image in this. No, I'm just saying that this motherfucker <laughs> thinks he's funny. I'm saying I know two things in this life. Mm -hmm. I can out act this motherfucker any day of the oh, week. Number two, that. I could fucking destroy this guy right now, arm wrestling, any day of the week. Oh, Fuck yeah, you. Not... you. You think you're a big dick? As well as David does, you both are shit. You both are shit. Right now, dude. Let's do it right now. They're big, both. I can fuck you up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, hey, let's listen, do it. Yeah, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Well, I listen to you all the time, Sasha. Tell me, what do you want? What do you want? You want to go or you not? Really want I'm to ready. I think you're just scared. Yeah. Fuck you think you. I'm you're scared? scared. Yeah. yeah. You're scared. You're scared, aren't you? Why am you're I scared, scared of you? You're scared of a real man, Sasha. You know what I, I will think? eat your children. I will stomp your heart out. You're scared. You I'm ready. My arm is on the table, bro. My arm is on the table. I'm fucking ready, Sasha. I'm ready. Well, here's what I think. What? That's all you got. Oh, I think it. that's Let all you me. got. Because you know you don't got the record to beat me in the acting. You ain't got nothing to show for your acting because you're nobody. Okay. Because you're a mediocre dude. Okay, Sasha, let's say So like you this. know what? I'm going to do this. Oh, you're Thank shaking you my hand. You're shaking my hand. Let me tell you to the, all the people watching here, Dennis, Rebecca, let me tell you something. Sasha backed out of this fucking thing. And you too, the camera. You backed out. You backed the fuck the out. Why put him I always have. You're what never the bigger man, Sasha. You're the smallest guy on this fucking planet. Your ego is the size of fucking Canada, but you don't know shit. And David, mm -hmm. you, you try to match his ego, but you have nothing. Who's fucking talking, you oh. molester, you fucking rapist? I'm surprised you haven't molested anyone yet. Oh, fuck Please. off, David. If that a small single... dick vibe is coming from right there, I don't know what is. Every Woo! single man, woman, dwarf, I... and animal that I fuck mm. have wanted it. They oh. wanted it. Oh, man. yeah, they wanted a real good animal. Because oh, you were a nice big boy oh, man. Yeah. Sasha. 
Can you not step away from your anger for one second and just realize, I tried to meet you halfway. Did I not try to meet you halfway? And you, Dave? And what did you guys do? You threw it back in my face because what? My past? My allegations? My no, general... because of what you did now. It, I don't fucking care, you're, you're, because you, you all no guys problem, are such you losers. No you're, a you're a loser, you're a loser, and you're a loser, and you're a loser. Oh, really? Oh, oh, does that feel good, yeah. or what? <laughs> Mr. I go for 20, but I went down to 6. Please, you're lucky you got 6. Listen, Dave, you fucked her fiance. <laughs> you should apologize, man. I did apologize, and she did not want to take that. She wanted you to did fight apologize. Me. I tried to, and I'll say it again in that case. I'm so very truthfully sorry, because to be completely honest, he took advantage of me when I was in a very vulnerable place. And I feel shitty about it, and I called it off the second and after Are it you happened. You're pulling in Kevin's face. Yeah. It's just the truth. Kevin's, fuck you. Huh? It's just the truth of the matter. I was in a really shitty place, and, I'm, and, I, and, I, and I felt bad the moment it happened. You used to be nominated an actor that no one get, wants to work with anymore because of your fucking attitude. And then what, what do I have left? Uh, an actress on stage that can't fucking take direction. And then and a comedian that no one wants to be here. Wow. I'm sorry, Dennis. Here's a, here's a big question. Why the fuck do you think you were on set? But because, and you have so little lines. Because the producers told me you need a funny guy, so I have to write a character. You were not supposed to be the fucking movie, Dennis. Why? Because I didn't have space for a character. And then I'm the one that is my fucking fool that you don't have a character that people need more of the funny guy in there and then I'm forced to come up with someone for you to belong to because honestly, you weren't supposed to be there and instead of fucking you over, they should've just been honest and let you be and so I did my best so I tried to give you lines, I tried to give you what I could and then when these fucking uh, cunts th thought they were better than you and better than everyone else I gave you their lines and then, oh, they were upset how could you do so people with my knowledge to the comedian Fuck you! You were both sitting there swinging your dicks around. Give Sasha's line away. Give Navi's line away. I said, okay, how about we play the. How about you play the. Stop! Drum? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bye. Shut up, Sasha. Dennis. No. Dennis. Dennis. What the fuck, guys? Why? Why would you do that? Fuck you. Dennis! You, there's a reason you're a typecasted. Train wreck of a movie. Uh -huh. It's the fucking worst shit that I've been wow. through. Thank you. If you stuck around a bit, then uh, I guess that six mil. Because I don't quit. Because I don't quit. I stick with the script no matter how bad it is. I wanted to quit. I wanted to quit many times. Oh, yeah. Many times. Mm -hmm. Your script was shit. The fact that you say that you could rewrite Shakespeare and make it better, improve upon it, mm -hmm. just shows how fucking big your ego is, my dude. You thing... came from YouTube. You came from YouTube, uh -huh. which is a medium I absolutely respect, mm -hmm. but you're not ready for the leap, my man. You're not ready for this leap. Mm -hmm. And the fact We've that you... We've seen that now. We've seen this that many times. And the fact that you handle Sasha and Rebecca and me and Dennis and all the fucking other actors on this set uh -huh. the way you have just shows that you want to be the top dog, David. I tried. I tried to be as diplomatic as I could the same way I was with all of my indie actors. And then you guys came along and you told me, no, this is the standard you got to stick to. This is the level you got to be at. This is how you make a movie. And I said, okay, if that's what they want from me, then that's where I'll go. And then I go there, and oh, but not and me though. Failed. But I'm special. Because I'm Sasha. I'm a nominated actor, and I matter. I'm Navid. Do you know? I used to make fucking Italian westerns that no one fucking saw. Oh, I So matter. what you're saying is, oh, how you didn't you? measure up. Those rules matter to the rest, but not to me, because I'm special. No, 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 David. The rest of them, but not me. Fuck you guys. You can't just sit there and double standard this bullshit. You can't sit there and want me to be better than what I am. And then when I try to be better with you, you give me shit for it. Because that's the thing you asked me to do for you. When did you try to be better, Dave? When you slapped me? When you belittled Dennis every fucking step of the way? When did when, you try to be when better? I had exactly? to, when, I had to, when I had to do my best to have him be there because I couldn't have him there. When I had to take your bullshit and just accept you were a dick to him, a dick to her, a dick to Dennis, a dick to the crew, a, a fucking sexual predator on my set. When I had to handle his ego in front of everyone. No shit, I gave you your monologue. You clearly fucking didn't read it. Are you fucking dumb? You had the whole month. That was the biggest piece in the movie. And then this random person that didn't even have to read it knew it by heart. Are you kidding me? No shit, I gave it. To her. She didn't even have to know your lines that she knew it. Are you fucking me? You're an actor, a nominated Oscar actor. How the fuck whose dick did you suck? <laughs> I can't believe it. I actually agree with that, Sasha. You should have done that monologue better. You weren't prepared at all. You you really weren't. You you, you were just I mean you, you had won awards, yes, but you are not exactly what I expected from you. I, I have to be honest with you. Yeah. Oh, so now it's time for honesty. What do you mean huh? a random you. person? I'm not a random person.
Aren't you? Girl, you do Shakespeare in a theater. No one fucking goes to watch Shakespeare in a fucking theater anymore. You yeah, they it, do. You read it when you're in sixth grade, and then you watch some some eight year old eighth graders play it, and then you're like, I get it. No one goes to watch fucking Shakespeare unless you're old, gay, and have nothing to do better but to spend your money because you're old and gay in a fucking theater play. Let's not pretend like those people are going to come there every other week. It's not like you see fucking twenty year olds coming to your play. Hey, I watch Shakespeare for movies, and you know Rebecca, nice. You haven't seen her play. Thank you. Please. Oh, this movie is a fucking joke. We're gonna continue after this. <laughs> We're gonna have another movie. Oh yeah? Where are you gonna well, go? Uh, who knows? Where are you gonna go, David? Who the fuck knows? David. Mm -hmm. Where are you gonna go? I don't care, honestly. I actually kind of don't care. Lucky you, you don't care. I actually don't. That's it. It's really blissfully freeing. Not having to give a shit anymore. It's, it's weird, isn't it? Like, it, it, it's kind of like before you're afraid. This is your first movie. The world's looking at you. They want to know what you're going to make. Uh, they want to see your phantasmagoria. You have this actor. You're bringing back this big actor. This random actress that, that this theater, she's preserved. Oh, this comedian. What is he going to make? And then this is, happens. Whatever happens. But now I, I don't, I'm not afraid anymore. Because if they hate it, they hate it. And that is what it is. But if they love it, they love it. And if they, and if they don't care, they don't care. The, regardless, I got the attention I wanted. So regardless... I did it. David, please just go. Go? This is my fucking house. So how about the rest of you fucking washed up piece of shit, wish you were a fucking militia that can't fucking handle the shit, wannabe actress that just recites Shakespeare, and garbage comedian, get the fuck out of my house. Can't wait to see you at the premiere. Let's smile and nod and pretend we're friends. Get the fuck out. Hope you had fun. Enjoy the paychecks. Your taste in wine sucks. Yeah, well, your taste in everything kind of sucks, so does that mean much to me? David, are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. It's good to hear. Can I, can I do anything for you? No, I'm good. I think all I need right now is to just spend time with myself and get fucking drunk. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good luck with the career. Are you just hanging around because you're bored, or...? Uh, I actually lost my phone. I don't give a fuck. Get the fuck out of the house and buy a new one. For one, 170 million. It, it's, I think you can handle it. Five million? Yeah. Still do, don't. Hmm? don't. Don't fuck around with my phone, man. I got some sensitive shit on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't trust you, man. Yeah, well, same here. Ah. Good, good yeah. shit. So, uh... Mm -hmm. Let's hope we never meet again, I guess. Yeah, well, premiere, and then there you go. All right, Dave. Yeah. Bye. David, by the way. Uh, it took you long enough to fucking learn that, but then again, no, am I expecting anything from you at this point? No, but just in case. All right, I'm sorry, dickhead. Bye. Bye. Is it okay if I stay here? Maybe you have something you want to say? Get the fuck out. I'm really sorry this happened. Yeah, huh? You know what? Fuck this. Yeah, well, no, 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 I'll leave, I'll leave, okay. I have just as many words as not enough at this point. First, let's start by saying that they all did meet up at the premiere. They all smiled and waved and pretended to be friends. What are we left with now? A movie that was blown out of proportions? A fan base, if one can call it that, that is just there to make fun of it? 
$256 million and it made back $53.76 million, 21%? That's how much they made back. That's not a lot. That's really not a lot. <sighs> Safe to say they're not working on a sequel. I wish I had been capable of being there every day. But I also know that my distance is exactly what was needed. Regardless, I managed to keep a journal of the truth that has happened behind the scenes. Before anyone asks how this documentary even got to be made, let me just say, David forgot one piece of the puzzle. He may have left Mendizabal, but he never asked who was paying for me and my crew. He forgot that Timo was still the one who hired us. It was a risky gamble, but one that did pay off. Ultimately, our contract still held up. There wasn't much they could do. Plus, it was easier for the production companies to have a fall guy. And that fall guy was David. I suppose if the whole world is already pointing the finger, they might as well. I do hope he understands that we all do, that showing this is important. That it's important to understand the right and the wrong steps. That this can be a how not to guide for everyone. It's a testament to David's dedication. He had the passion, he just didn't have the vision. He had the tools, but not the knowledge. The destination, but no compass. He truly had humble beginnings, but got himself in murky waters he did not understand. And that led him down the wrong direction. And yes, what he has done has never been done before. It's not surprising that it leads to rage, regrets, and reshoots. I do understand that this has cost him a lot of grief, both in his personal and professional life, but I think he found acceptance for a lot of those things. I would like to say thank you and best of luck to our thespian, our two actors, our comedian, and our director. That's right. We're meant for greater things. Treat your world the way you want to be treated. Circumstances. There are no principles. Nobody's home. Does anybody really care? what reality is anymore. You're still the love of my life. Should I tell you that? son, all those years living a life without exploring. You wanted to see the world, to follow the great journey. I wanted to show you how much there was out there. Where did you go wrong? What blinded you? What turned you upside down, my son? The light's gone out of your eyes. 
find your way from darkness where one crow stands watching the world. I killed the film set by my humor. I mean, if your comedy is as good as your movie making, you have no worry. Huh. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, you can make your own, you know, the masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get to that masterpiece you want to make, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, you'll you know keep grinding, 
Oh, no. That's the fucking bastard. Imagine being in this position. Imagine being in this position. Oh, my God.